boy DJ Lil King, you know what I'm saying? What's good with it? It's your boy DJ Lil King back with another episode of the Riding High Podcast, you know what I'm saying? Got a special guest in the building today. Grew up on that west side of Corpus Christi. My dog said he'd been DJing since he was 10 years old, you know what I'm saying? Y'all probably didn't heard him on down there every hip hop radio station here in Corpus since shit, probably the mid 2000s, you know what I'm saying? Maybe even earlier than that shit. We got my dog DJ Dynamite up in the house, you know what I'm saying? Yo, what up? Also got my dog DJ Hurricane in the building, you know what I'm saying? He's going to sit good. in today with us on the interview shit. I was going to say, Hurricane don't get that uh, intro. Yeah, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> I, saying, get, I looked at him. I'm one of my old school G's <laughs> in this month. He gets the intro. He gets the intro when no, we do his one-on-one. <laughs> I got you, man. Right. I got you, man. Right. He I gets his you. own. He gets his own. Uh, yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> For sure, for sure. Shit, where'd you, where'd you grow up at? Me? Dynamite? Shit, uh, the Ville, right, right there in the West Oso Molina area. Already. Mm. Village of the Greens? Yeah, Village of the Greens. Bro, that's where, that's where <laughs> the Hell homies yeah. from right there. Yep. <laughs> that little neck of the woods. Yeah, so we're always there, Village in the Green at Molina. Like, we, we used to be out and shit like that. It's, it's not the same like like it, yeah. it's now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, hell yeah. It definitely was way different. Yeah, way shit. different. Like, we get to... Like, West Haven, the Ville, yeah. then you, what you had... Uh, Cliff Miles and then yeah, Melina. Yeah, yeah, like, we're, we're all around there. Like, yeah, yeah. It was called, our parents didn't even <laughs> like, check yeah. up on us. Hey, where you at? No, nothing like that. We it's it's crazy out. how far we used to walk back then. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, it doesn't seem <laughs> far. Walking as across a kid. that golf course and shit like that. Right. I, remember, I'm, I'm, yeah. that. I remember meeting homies from different hoods just walking. I'll meet you in the middle and then we go back yeah. and slide to wherever. Or go pick up some bud or something. Uh-huh. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say, in the village of the Greens, I remember, I, don't, I never knew his real name, but it went by Milk. And he would sell ball bats off of like the third street inside that little third thing. Street. Five dollars a pop. He wasn't three for ten for <laughs> nobody. <Yeah. laughs> but, but you got what you paid for. Yeah. Already. Hell yeah. yeah. Oh. So did you go to the <coughs> excuse me? <coughs> did you go to the West Oso schools like all growing yes. up? Uh, I went to JFK, uh Carl Allen, Skinner. I went to yeah. all of them. Yeah. Hell yeah. Except the new high school, like like we graduated in 2007, they gave us the option. They're all like, you could be either the last class to graduate at the old high school, or we could move all of y'all mid school year to the new school, and you could graduate the first ones. So we were all, you know what? Like we actually voted and shit like that to like be the, the last class. class. And we're all, man, we'll be the last class at, at the high school, the old high school. Hell and yeah! Now it's a junior high, so yeah. Yeah, I went to Carl Allen, uh, West Oso Junior High, and West Oso High School. My brother went to. Skinner, Carl Allen, and the junior high. He didn't go to the high school. Yeah, like I went to all of them except the new high school. Like, hell yeah, yeah. So we grew up with a bunch of people. Uh, What's called one of one of the close people is Bell. Like I knew him since already. Shout out Big Bell. Hell yeah. yeah. Shout out to him. So you knew Bell from like John F. Kennedy. Yeah, John F. Kennedy. Like we're little. (laughs) We went that uh, baby Bell. Yeah, baby Baby Bell. Bell. And for y'all, for y'all that don't know (laughs) the West Oso. It's the West Oso school district is like it's one school district, but there's schools that are split up. So, like I was telling Freak a couple yeah, of episodes ago, when she didn't yeah. even realize like that's crazy. West Oso elementary is literally well when you're in, when you're in elementary at West Oso, you literally go to John F. Kennedy, what was like pre K to like second yeah. grade. John F. Kennedy, and then you go to the Skinner elementary. Skinner yeah, from Skinner. third grade to fourth grade, and then fifth grade and sixth grade was. Carl Allen. So I was telling them when we were in sixth grade, we were still in elementary yeah, school. Yeah, we're still, <laughs> like it was just all these other schools. And sixth shit grade like that. was the bottom of the barrel again. Yeah. Like <laughs> yeah, you, we you made it to be king at fifth grade, and then you dropped back down to the bottom. Yeah, of the hell school. yeah. Like, well, it, and yeah. for us, we yeah. were like the kings in sixth grade because yeah. we sixth just went to school with just fifth and sixth grade. Straight up. Fresh, yeah, straight yeah. up. Fish. Remember that that uh, that tornado that that yeah. was Driscoll and all that. Oh yeah, yeah, hell, like, yeah. Junior high, West Coast Junior High, and. Like the train, uh, the tornado like basically barely missed us, mm. but it went to the Molina area. Yeah, and it yeah just hell yeah. <laughs> Think it like hit some of Del Bar shit too. Yeah, Del hell Bar, yeah, like, hell yeah. yeah. Del, Del Bar, and then it game. stopped in the Molina area. But it was close to the junior high. Like like we <laughs> like we we're in passing periods on our it all yeah, hell yeah. Was, Like yeah. the teachers were telling us run inside and all that, get under the desk and all that. Oh, like, shit. Kiss your ass goodbye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like That's they were freaking crazy. us out, like they were like yelling and people were. They didn't know what to do either. Yeah. <laughs> God damn. 
Yeah. Shit. Did you play like sports or in the uh, band or anything? No, it's cause I wasn't in sports, uh, but I was in the band. I was in the drum line. So you know West Oso, like if you're in the drum That's line, I've heard. you're popular. Yeah, yeah <laughs> like I'm up, I play drums at West Oso yeah. from seventh grade shit all the way to high school shit. Yeah, yeah. Called, yeah same thing. Uh Started in sixth grade all the way to senior. Um, was, I was a snare captain my senior year and all that. Went, went to Houston. Like, yeah, hell yeah. That's what I tell you. Yeah, hell yeah. I tell uh, man, like, 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 it's crazy, know, like, bro, boys, oh, I got the picture still, bro. Yeah, when, like, I was a, when I was a freshman, shit. And it's crazy. Uh, was called, they knocked it down. The Astro, uh, was it the Astro Dome? Astro Dome? No, Astro Dome. It's still standing. It's just not in use no more. No, no. No, it was the. It was called the one that they knocked down in Houston. The one next to the uh, where the Texans play, the Astrodome, the but it's, it's still standing. Man. Ain't that nah, the they Astrodome? Knocked it down. Nah, the Astrodome, hell nah. Them people done put like a goddamn Texas landmark on it to where they really? can't demolish shit and shit. Hell yeah. Oh, but okay. I remember, uh, were y'all there for the Martin Luther King Jr. Yeah, for yeah. It? yeah, that's what we were there for. Did yeah, y'all we're, we're in there and like stayed shit. overnight, right? Y'all yeah. stayed overnight, yeah, we man. Stayed overnight. Like our yeah. hotel was yeah. right there by the, the right. Astrodome and like. Like Hell we yeah. went in and it was like sold out crowd. Like there was oh, people shit. from Louisiana, like Atlanta and stuff like that, and they all came and like we did our like like the halftime show in the middle of the field. <laughs> oh, and you know what's so yeah, Damn. like what's so so it's not like like the boring ass music, no, but we, West, we, we no. gonna show ass at West yeah, So We, yeah, we like, show ass, nigga. Yeah, we're doing Ice Cream Man, <laughs> uh, yeah. Master P, like, That's like, like, like we even did Little Wayne back that ass up. Like, so was all yeah. that like a like um, student choice, or was the teacher like? No, it was called a uh, shout out to cool Mr. like Milton. that. You Mr. Melton you know, was with the shit. He was with the, the, the band director. He was with the shit. He literally came to me. He's like, "Hey, was kind of whatever's hot on the radio," because he knew I DJ and stuff. So I did whatever's hot on the radio. I'll write it out. That's Damn. the shit. Let's go. That's fucking <laughs> yeah, yeah, so we used to, like, yeah, like, all the hits that were at that time, like, he used to write the music, did a halftime show. Uh, we did all that marching, uh, dancing, and stuff like that. So, yeah, we went to Houston. Like, we, Hell yeah. at that year, I think it was my junior year, we we got, like, best drum line Dang, in the Astro Dome. Like, it was crazy because, yeah. like, so many people sold out, and then you had, uh, Michael Watts DJing Zero was there. Yeah, like, our shit wasn't uh, like, like, like that. It was like, like, uh, <laughs> like they put on a show too. Like yeah. it was fucking crazy. This is all prime time for yeah, those prime names. Time, yeah, yeah. Shit. But my freshman year, we marched in the Martin Luther King Junior Day Parade downtown Houston, and we won sweepstakes, which yeah. is the highest that you could. Sweepstakes is above first place. Yeah. Uh, and we won sweepstakes whenever I was a freshman, shit, in fucking West Oso High School, shit, yeah, the Martin so, Luther King and, Parade. And the, now they're still known for their... Yeah, event. hell yeah. The same, That's same the only reason why I go to the book parade. I'm going to see, and, I, and I'm not, I'm going to see West Oso show ass. Yeah. I, I always Because like I know they're going to show ass. As a like, kid, it was West Oso, it was Miller, and then anybody from Houston. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Yeah. With the book parades <laughs> yeah. back in the day, yeah. hell yeah, yeah. hell yeah. And we used to battle them, like, hell hell yeah. used to come, like, before the parade, we're behind Buck Stadium battling and all that. Like, it was always us and Houston. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Like, like they once in yeah, a while, yeah, but yeah, yeah. like they always came to us. They're like, all right, what's up? We know you're with Stoso. We hell want yeah. <laughs> and this is another thing, too. I remember because uh, I was in the band, like I said, West Oso. I went to West Oso my freshman year for the first semester. For second semester, I went to Carroll freshman year. Uh, so I was in band at West Oso and we was live. And the thing was, Mr. Melton was so cool. Like, with, with I don't know how it was with y'all, but with us, like, he would give like all the pl- the uh, people who play like the horns and shit. He give them the music to read. For us, he just teach do 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 do, and we just learn that shit off of ear. Oh, shit. So whenever I go to fucking and like I say, Mister Melton, he live like we playing the live ass shit. The man right here, yeah. shit, uh, yeah. it ain't my fault. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Man, I go to Carol and I get in the band, Mister Melton, and put in a word for me because Mister Melton came from Carol. So when yeah. I went to Carroll, he had like yeah. put in a word for me, like, hey, I got a real good drummer that's coming for me. He's transferred to y'all school and everything. I mean, I got in the band at Carroll, man. <laughs> I was I was lost. Yeah. And they were basically yeah, making shit, us like, read music, music off of a fucking shit. paper, and I didn't know how to <laughs> do not that how shit. You learned. And yeah. like at West Oso, I was one of the coldest drummers. Like, and I was a freshman and I was I played the number two bass drum. Which number two is not one of the big ones. It's like one of the small bass drums, but that's one of the main ones yeah, the that main ones, that yeah. they use to keep the fucking the shit going. Keep you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. yeah. And fucking, I go over there and sh- 
Man, that shit, it was just some bullshit. Like, it, it was, was just. The only time, like, we read music was, like, on, on concert season. Yeah, on concert season. Concert hell season, yeah. We hell go, yeah. And we, we still fucking hell yeah. fur, sweet yeah. and stuff like that. Like, and these motherfuckers, like, they was just, <laughs> they was on some other shit. Like, it, was, it wasn't it was fun. Like, band wasn't fun at Carol, so I checked out of that shit immediately, shit. Yeah, so like, a lot of people line, came so. to West Oso just to, like. Be in the band. Be in the shit. band hell and stuff yeah. like that. Is that what West Oso, you know how, like, uh, what is it, Modi's, like, uh, science or some shit or whatever Science and technology. To yeah, be like a that. nurse or something like that. Yeah. It's or not really medical, like a special. Right? Like it's There's just nothing at West also like that. No, like, it's almost like the way the stigma fits. Like Cal Allen, like oh, if you badass football player, you go to yeah, Cal you go to Cal Allen. You know what I'm saying? saying like, West like, yeah, like known Cal for. Like, it's yeah, yeah, not for like band. technology and yeah, whatever. Yeah, like, yeah. I think Miller's that or some Miller, shit like Miller that. Miller was the yeah. fire department like, and stuff like that. Miller was the fire department and technology. Yeah, yeah band and basketball. Hell yeah, band and basketball. Like, football, that, like, they're all right. Like, they had a team back in the day, like, in 2004 and all that. But lately, it's like, they're getting there. Yeah. But it's it's known for band and basketball. Dang. Hell yeah. yeah. So that's your career is coming out of that motherfucker. Hell yeah. Band and basketball, like. Yeah, and, yeah. This, and Mr. Motive, he still like plays. Yeah, like, he's still with, and he's still with the like shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's still. And, and what's called, he still hits me up sometimes. Hey, what's called like like you got some music? Work? Damn, yeah, sure, yeah. that's what's up. Hell and yeah, I go sometimes and we chill and stuff like that. So like, we don't so, have so, to get him on here to to, to <laughs> tell the other side of that story. And right he keeps there, he you know keeps up mean? with the times too. That's the thing about Mr. Melton too. Yeah. Like he ain't got us playing. He didn't have us playing a song that was hot fucking ten years no, before. Like it's, yeah, it's a rap song, but it was it was it ain't hot now. Like it's hot ten years ago. He shit that was fucking hot from ten days ago, like yeah. learning that shit. Like, like they yeah. came out on the radio and got hits and stuff like that. He's like, all right, I want to play that. Hell one. yeah, I remember. And I he got... sits down, writes every instrument, like Damn. Uh, all hell the notes yeah. and stuff like he that. Lo- he has to love that shit. Yeah, yeah. 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 Hell like, what's yeah. Got, he's still there. Like, like he's still there. Same like. Like uh, like the band still the drum line is still good and stuff like that. So yeah. y'all don't playing June twenty seventh and shit. Yeah, we were. <laughs> y'all were playing June twenty seventh. You were yeah. there. Damn, that's what's up. We were there. Hell like yeah. we do the dance and everything. Like it was crazy. Damn, hell yeah. yeah, hell yeah. So you say you start DJing like around ten years old. How do you get into DJing well, at ten years old? Uh, ten years old. Uh, my uncle uh, was called. He's a, a DJ, but a Tejano DJ. He's well known here Already. in Corpus and stuff like that. Now now he lives in San Antonio, so he's. He's making him a, a name over there in San Antonio. But, yeah, like, I used to go over there to his house, and he had his setup and stuff like that. And, shit, I'm all, fuck, man, I want to do that. Like, and then, uh, yeah, like, he let me practice on it. Like, back in the day, it was, like, fucking CDs and shit like that. Like, we didn't have no Serato where we, we watched the video. So, like he had some CDJs? Yes. yes. Uh, or he had some vinyls and shit. Uh, it, was kind of, it was vinyl, and then he, had, uh, he also had the American Audio Velocity. I don't know if you've seen that one. The velocity, it's like you put the CDs and it's turntables. Like, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Scratch, okay, okay. Scratch, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the, echoes, it was like having new stuff. Yeah. Like before, yeah. Back, back, it was like back, a controller? Yeah, a controller. Oh, damn. But with still CDs. Had no USB. No Just, USB. No laptop. <laughs> <USB. laughs> like, none no of that. Nothing. Like, now. Like, now it's... And you still had to have that big old amp to carry around to make sure your stuff was running Yeah, so I used to practice on that. And then he's like, hey, what's going You want to start doing gigs with me? Like quinceañeras and stuff like that. Like you could do the hip hop. Like yeah. I said, hell yeah. At ten. At ten. Yeah. Yeah. So I was at uh, doing weddings and quinceañeras. Okay, but at first your uncle wasn't like, oh, I'm like you too young. You ain't no, gonna like, touch my shit. He like, was like encouraging yeah, you. Yeah, encouraging to, me. See, that's what's he up. Wanted, yeah, like, yeah. like he's out, man. Like, like what's called like like I see uh, Chris. Like my name is Chris. Yeah, I was called. I see him. Uh, like like he taking he, interest. Yeah, taking interest and shit. Was called, I could use help and stuff like that. <laughs> So there I go helping them like uh, do the gigs, weddings, quinceañeras, and stuff like that. And you're not just there to help him pack. No, I'm there like he. Yeah. Hey, what's called hip hop? Like you do that. Like like. So you're here. You go switching out the CDs. Yeah, and- switching out the CDs, whatever. <laughs> and making the little at kids ten. dance at ten. Yeah. <laughs> and so I did that. Uh, I was about sixteen. And then, uh, <laughs> shit, I was working at Waterburger, my first job, Waterburger. I was there three days. And then uh, my family is, like, my uncle's a DJ. And then uh, it was called, you remember Joe, Bomb Records. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was called, that's, that's my cousin. Oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it was called, here's another DJ. And then his, uh, like, his brothers are DJs also, like, in Chicago and stuff like that. So I guess, shit, it runs in the family. <laughs> so I Joe's the... the uh, DJ Joe is uh is on the same side of your family as yeah, the, yeah. his other uncle? Yeah, that, yeah. from San Antonio. Uh-huh. Okay, damn, that's what's yeah, up. Yeah, so um so yeah, like like he uh he calls me because like he knew I was doing uh quinceañeras and stuff like that. 
So uh, he had a gig, and he's like, hey, like, I need a cover. Uh, can you have Saturday off? Like, I know you just started this job. Like, can you have it off? <laughs> well, I'm, uh, I'll ask and see. So I went. I, I asked the manager, hey, uh, a thing came up. Like, could I have Saturday night off? And he said, no. I said, damn. <laughs> damn. <laughs> Joe's all, yeah, it's, it's tea night at Hypnotic, and you're going to be live on 102.9. Like, <laughs> this is the offer you don't want to, like, pass up. So I quit Whataburger <laughs> my Damn. third day, like my, my, because I stayed with my grandparents. They were pissed off, Damn. like real mad and shit like that. They didn't talk for me like two weeks and shit like that. Let's let's go back a little bit before <laughs> that. Then when did before when you say you DJing at, at ten years old, you're DJing with your uncle. At what point do you start? Do you go on your own? Uh, on my own, uh, by fourteen, fifteen, or yeah, like like when I started high school, like the pep rallies and st- uh, stuff like that. Like I volunteered. I'm like, hey. Like was called, I have some equipment that I saved up uh, from all the gigs with my uncle. I oh, bought shit. my little uh, Velocity. I bought the same thing with Damn. it. And I had some speakers. And I said, man, uh, what's called, I told Mr. Milton, I'm a, yeah, what's called, you know, like, what's called, I'm into this DJing stuff and all that. And he's like, hey, what's called, you want to do the pep rallies? <sighs> I'm like, hell yeah, like, I'll do the pep rallies. So I started getting my, my name out there, like, First, like, it was DJ Chris. Like, Not really. And then, but there was already two other DJ Chris's in Corpus, so... I'm all shit. What's called? I need a spell it with a K. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I was all, man, like the name, like like I don't know what I had to call, it. and it's it's hilarious. Like not a lot of people know like where I got dynamite from. Like, and this is when you're 15, 16. Yeah. You're, you already got the mindset that there's already two other <laughs> DJ Chris's in Corpus. So. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, like I'm all man. I need to make a name for myself. Like I can't be another DJ Chris because DJ Chris from uh, Z95. Shout out to him, man. Yeah, yeah, a close friend Chris. right there. Already. He goes then, by the whole name though, right? Huh? Yeah, he, he goes, goes by, by the whole name. Chris. Chris but he probably Fonseca. he probably Fonseca, goes by right? his whole yeah, name yeah, too because <laughs> <laughs> because of that reason. And then there's yeah, a, for the uh, Chris same Auber, uh, Auber is or something like yeah, that. Yeah, Chris like he DJs, is uh, See, I, I don't think I ever heard that one. Chris yeah, Fonseca, yeah, he I've heard that. Two of those, yeah, yeah, he's yeah. old school. He DJs uh, like uh, like all the strip clubs and stuff like that. Okay. And then he was DJing Fajitaville when Fajitaville oh, yeah. was open and stuff like Alrighty. that. Yeah. But yeah, so I'm all man. I need a name. <laughs> so I'm a fuck man. Like, but what I need to call myself. So I was watching one of my favorite movies back in the day, and that was guy saw Freak. Right? He kind of uh, was got Napoleon Dynamite. I told you, oh Napoleon shit, Dynamite. Napoleon Dynamite! Like <laughs> shit, that mm. shit was a repeat. It was a stupid ass movie. Yeah, like, everybody, everybody watched everybody that was, shit on repeat yeah. like a motherfucker. Hell, yeah, Napoleon yeah. Dynamite. Hell, yeah. So I'm all shit. Gosh. DJ Napoleon. I'm like, nah, that don't sound right. So I said DJ Dynamite. I'm all shit. That sounds good right there. So I said good times. <laughs> Uh, Dynamite. I was like, well, that's a, just so you know, that's how I say your name, like in my head. Yeah, already. Yeah, Dynamite. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, it was, I got it from there and I said, shit, DJ Dynamite. And then, like, I started doing all the pep rallies and stuff like that. So, you've been Dynamite since uh, teen? Yeah, since teens. Yeah. Since 16, 15? Yeah, since uh, what, like freshman. So that's about 15 years old, yeah, shit, God 14, damn. 15, yeah. He's all the pep rally all in the pep 2003 like that, yeah. versus yeah, uh, so Miller all yeah, that. type shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so the band was already fucking crunk so, already uh, itself and stuff like that. And then plus a DJ. Like, So uh, you did a pep rally before you did your own like solo gig? Or you were already doing solo yeah, gigs? Yeah, like, uh, the solo gigs... Uh, Actually, like, with the pep rally was, like, my first actual by myself. Oh, shit. And then people say, hey, like, he's DJs, whatever, shit, let's do house parties and Whoa. stuff like that. So, yeah, like, I started doing house parties and stuff, and then that's when, like, <laughs> Joe, like, had that one night that he couldn't make teen night, and he's like, hey, like, I need a cover, and you're going to be live on the radio. Like, make sure all your music's radio edit. Like, yeah. you can't, no cussing and stuff like that. Yeah, and was, at this you age, a- you already know the difference between... Having to have clean music and yeah. dirt. like clean music and stuff like that because that was my my dream. Like shit, I'm gonna be on radio. Like, Already since young, ten years old. Like I'm on. I want to be on radio. Z95, Z95. Like so, you know, I kind of know. I need to have a library yeah, with like, some type of clean yeah, music. Library yeah. where yeah, there's clean music. Hell and yeah. Plus like well, quinceañeras and stuff. Yeah, like hell that. yeah. Hell hell the yeah. parents don't want to hear yeah. fucking <laughs> back that ass up. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's all back that thing up. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah. on that shit, do you got to go and listen through everything before you, you know, put it out? Well, uh, back then you could just buy the CD yeah, yeah, and just yeah, play yeah, track had, three, which was clean. Back then so. it was, you had the regular, yeah, then you had the like, X, like, they, they gave it to you. And then the, the clean yeah. edited, like, yeah, like now, all in one like, package. 
Yeah, yeah, like now it's like it's easy. You could go on uh, like all these record pools and stuff like that and oh, really? get yeah. the edit version and the regular mm-hmm. version. But back in the day, like the CDs, like like I went to Walmart. Walmart. Yeah, had the yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Every day. I hated that. My mom hated that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah Walmart shit. What's called? Little Wayne came out, went to Walmart, got yep. the clean version. I had the block is hot shit. Okay. Clean version. We used, to, we used to listen to it at West Social Junior High, and we only got to listen to it because it was the Walmart version. Yeah, it was a Walmart yeah, version. Yeah, yeah like, like so we crazy. used to, like, being a DJ back in the day, like you used to buy CDs, like yeah. CDs after CDs. Like I spent a Crates. bunch of money, like yeah, Crates like, like of it used CDs to be like records, but yeah, 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 for sure. Next generation, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like like I, I, I mess with vinyl a little bit, but I started with the CDs. Oh, really? And then now, like they introduced, like I, I had the the first Serato. The box, like it was the SL one, yeah, yeah. hell yeah, one. scratch live box, the scratch live box, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. connected yeah. to my uh, CD players and all that. So like the technology now, it's, it's fucking crazy. Hell yeah, yeah. god damn, man. Yeah, DJs so. now, DJs now got it easy. Yeah, so, got it easy. So you, yeah. you still got all these CDs? Uh, yeah, yeah. Man, like like it's I actually. Crazy. Like little, those big ass uh, the book, the book, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, That's what I figured. So you would yeah. carry your shit to the gig. Yeah. you weren't carrying around fucking a hundred yeah, case CDs like. like, like, like yeah. Oh no, nah, 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 yeah. Sure. Yeah. Put it in the slip at yeah. one point. Oh, red. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Believe it or not, yeah. believe it or not. At one point, the Dynamite Mobile had two crates of CDs in the back, <laughs> a light bar, a speaker. And you got two big dudes. That's what y'all call the whip, the dynamite the mobile. Dynamite mobile. Hell Hell shit. Shit. Yeah, yeah. Red yeah. Dodge man, and Trippin', man. Mobile, it, was a, it was a Dodge fucking Intrepid. Intrepid. Oh, man. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. It but a, but it was ready trippin'. to be worked at it right there on the spot, though, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, it's you could have posted up with the speakers from your trunk. Yeah, like, yeah. basically, yeah. because yeah. that was a big-ass trunk. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Like, like, I, uh, I'm a shit. I'm on, uh. Yeah, so the uh, trip it came a little bit after I was in radio. Mm. So, yeah, we'll pick. Let's pick it right there. What you say? Your grandma and them was pissed at you that you. Yeah, you uh, I, so, so what happens? You do the do you do, you do the gig? Yeah, like like what's called. Yeah, I quit and Saturday came. I was all excited and stuff like that. And hypnotic. I, I never. Did you quit that. like Friday? You quit yeah, Saturday yeah, morning? No, I quit like Friday. <laughs> <laughs> I quit Friday. <laughs> Next day is the gig. Hey, you wake up with no job. Yeah. When did you ask the boss to get off? Like, Don't tell me Friday. Day. Yeah, Friday. Yeah. Like so, Friday's the day you asked him. He said, "No, you quit yeah. all the time. Shit. All in one, boy. Yeah, because man, like, some true <laughs> SI shit, man. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Like those three days at Waterburger, man. Like basically all, like all the boy had the life people lessons. I hang out from West Oso. <laughs> yeah, they're all working in there. So, like, and you want right there on uh, Old Brown? Yeah, oh Brown's oh shit! <laughs> so it was, man. My second day. Uh, What's called? I don't know if you remember uh, Aaron Boyd. Yeah, hell yeah, hell Boyd, yeah. And it was another guy, uh, what's called, they're on their break, and they're like, hey, what's called, let's go box outside. What? Yeah. Like, they went out there, had a boxing match with boxing gloves, and got fired. What? <laughs> the first yeah, so we, yeah. like, like, that was the reason why I didn't get that, that Saturday off, because we're <laughs> short staff. <laughs> and, of course, me being out, like, shit, they're not going to have a Nobody. full staff. Hell like yeah. That. So that's why I say, hey, like. I quit. My passion <laughs> and all that is. Music, radio, and stuff like that. Like, I have a chance. Like, I ain't gonna take it. And this is not even knowing if there's anything further no, along after no, this Saturday like, gig. No, like, no, like, guarantee. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. That. And I was 16, and I was like, that was my first job, paying job and stuff like that. Of course, I, I had my DJ gigs with my uncle. Like, yeah. That was my But those were like, probably, like, few and far between at yeah, that yeah. point. All right. <laughs> so yeah. that was, like, my... <laughs> yeah. Guarantee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Every two weeks, yeah. <laughs> and it's crazy because my grandpa, like, like... His friend was like the main guy, so at Waterburger, yeah, like I was getting paid good. Oh and shit! And I just quit on his ass. Like, damn. <laughs> God. Yeah, damn. but the third day I went to, uh, yeah, like I went to Hypnotic, uh, did that gig, and I met the owner Jesse. Uh, he owned Hypnotic and One Hundred Two Point Nine already. And he's like, "Hey, what's called? I really like the way you DJ and your voice. Like you have a voice for radio." And he's like, "Do you want to?" Like, have you ever thought of being on radio? I'm like, hell yeah. Like, shit, that's been my dream since 10. Hell yeah. He's like, you know what? 
it was kind of like I really liked the way uh, you DJed and your voice and all that. What I saw, like you kept the crowd entertained and all that. And T Night back in the day, it used, yeah. it used hey, to be packed. packed. Hell yeah, yeah. hell yeah. yeah. Like yeah. You play some whack shit. Like, oh yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. So it was called. Yeah, he's uh, uh I got uh the night show guy, Elite One. Already. <laughs> uh, was called. I want you to shadow him. Like for a week or two, like of course you're not gonna get paid right now, but I want you to shadow him, and then after the two weeks, like come to me, and if that's something you want to do, we could find you a spot. So what does shadow mean? Just basically just show up like, on like his shift and like just an watch intern, him, like like, like an, an intern, intern. Go, go, already go All right. and then just help out. Like if he needs something, it, there's really like. Like, if he needs, like, a CD or something All like right. that, like, you'll get it. And just help him out. Like Do you remember shout. what you got paid that first teen night that you filled in at uh, age 16? The first teen night, I think it was probably, like, 100 bucks. But at 16? Yeah, at 16. So, I'm all shit, man. Hell yeah. <laughs> at that time, too. At that time, yeah, too. More nights. Man. Yeah. <laughs> it, it was, God, that was a teen night that was on a on a. Oh uh, wait, yeah, See, yeah, that Saturday. Then, it used to be Saturday. Yeah, 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 it used to be Saturday early, and then they used then to have the club at eleven o'clock. Oh, really? Yeah, they used to switch out and shit like that. Already, oh, but, but uh, but yeah, like I'm all shit. If you need any any other T nights covered, whatever, I told Joe I'm all shit. Just let me know. Like like I had a good time, and there's something I want to do. But before that, Joe was already working for the radio yeah, station yeah, yeah. Joe and, already the, had, and the club. Yeah. But had you tried to get Joe to get you in the door bef- any time before that? Uh, before, like, it was really, like, I was just concentrating with school and stuff like that. Already? You had never been like, hey, yeah, go yeah. see what's up? It, it never like, crossed my mind. Like, already. To, like, to, to was, try to use that connection. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Like, like, it never crossed my mind. I'm all, okay, like, my, my cousin Joe's. At you just looked at, that's just his job. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it never crossed my mind. So I always that's tell just him. That's his job. He's special, you know? Hell yeah, hell yeah. That's yeah, some so real all, shit, though, man. Yeah. Hell yeah. So, hell Joe, yeah. like, man, shout out to Joe. Like, without him, yeah, like, yeah, DJ I don't Joe know boy. if I would have, eventually, I would have been in radio, but, like, like he, yeah. he got the door open for me. Like, That's big shout out. Hell yeah. Hey, yep. God damn. So, from there, like, what do you, you get after the two week shadow thing? Do you get hired on officially? Yeah, like, like uh, he's like, all right, what's called? I want to uh, hire you. Right now, it's like you're just going to be from. Uh, either like the midday or or like co-host, basically like a co-host a spot. Already, he's like, yeah, I was kind of wanting you to get uh, good with the equipment and stuff like that because like a lot of people go to school. Yeah, that's what I was gonna yeah. say. Hell yeah, hell yeah. And he was giving me the opportunity, like, hey, like you learn know, on an intern type yeah, level, learn hell this yeah. way, whatever. If you like it, like we're gonna hire you and stuff like that. Like we really like the way you DJ and stuff like that. And I guess it's over the years, like DJing and shit like that. It's just hell yeah. Uh, came natural i guess so then, oh go ahead go ahead and then uh yeah like like i did the two weeks he hired me on and i was just bouncing back from uh g money's show and then little richard's show and stuff like that and uh was i wasn't there when uh when nap uh was called uh, what was a nap nap one king nap rich one, uh, king what rich years was were those? there king rich was there nap yeah, yeah one, king rich Lee. was there but uh but he, he didn't have like an official show at that time. Already, yeah. So it was just uh, Richard, Little Richard, Elite One, and G Money. Yeah. And then uh, they had some. Uh, I forgot what's her name. Uh, like they had a girl on, uh, but she didn't last that long. Like already, yeah, she was like another intern and stuff like that. Well, I guess that's a, that's a question too. So uh, that I have uh, with working at a radio station, are you only clocked in like when you're on air, or you're sometimes you're there on the clock and you're not even on air. You're just doing other yeah. shit. Yeah, like, like you're uh, like you clock in whatever, and they have you doing either uh, like we had that one hundred two point nine truck, like wash it and. And, and, and stuff like that, like doing intern shit, like already, like already, you, yeah. You're doing the jobs that the, the gopher shit, yeah, yeah. The gopher stuff, yeah. Basically, yeah. I ain't this. You go that, go for that this, go like for that, that motherfucker. Yeah. And then I had the also the the radio time, like doing the co host and stuff like that. And then sometimes like Elisa, all right, you just take over the show, like oh the, shit, I sit back and, and you're 16, 17. Yeah, 16. That's like amazing, doing it, bro. Come on, man! Yeah, <laughs> god damn! Yeah, like my first, my first concert was like, like hip, not basically, like one hundred two point nine hypnotic. They're in the same, same fucking parking way, lot. Yep. <laughs> They're right next door. Right to next door. door already. Right yeah. Door. Right next door. Twenty so. steps away. And ain't the address to 102.9, 1029 yeah. Saratoga? It's the same thing. Yeah, yeah hell yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. Maybe hell yeah. It's a little, it's basically like a little, it, it looks like a house. Yeah, yeah. hell yeah. They're different like studios shack. or you just walk in there just uh, one big studio? It's studios. different studios. Uh, 
uh, mostly offices. Okay, okay. And it, it's two studios, the main studio and then the studio where, like, right. the DJ used to uh, do the, like, yeah, the mix do his mixing and, and like shit, that, damn. And where they used to do the commercials and stuff like that. But, yeah, it's, like, the main studio, like, I was in there, shit, 24 hours, like, just learning and stuff like that. And then finally, like, there I right, was called, we'll give you, uh, I started middays by myself. Like G Money went back to more. Are you doing pre recorded or you're live in that booth doing a live mix? No, uh, we're doing live. Yeah, we're doing live and like They got faith in you at that age. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because of shit, faith. like I guess they, they saw hey, that like, you weren't yeah. on no bullshit. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell like yeah. he's not bullshitting, like he wants it. So hell yeah. <laughs> so it's I started doing that. And then uh yeah, like uh I met Dragon. Like like I was sixteen, but going to like regular club nights. Like Quiet Storm Fridays Damn. and stuff like that, and then like the concerts and stuff like that. Like I was, I was barely fucking a minor. Like, damn. <laughs> so you say, what was your first concert that you remember? Uh, the first concert was Fifty Cent, Master P. Your first concert? Yeah, my Child first style. concert. Uh, all G Unit. And you're in the door with the radio station. Yeah, like, you're like DJing. Already, uh, he's, in, he's employed. I'm, yeah, employed with the radio he's station. Employed. And uh, <laughs> when they booked the tour. Uh, it was a uh, No Limit Master P tour. Yes. And 50 Cent was the opener. Yes. Opener. Opener. Crazy. Well, at the time, 50 Cent blew, like, blew up. Like, 106 and Park, BC, MTV, when MTV used to play music videos and yeah, shit like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. TRL and stuff like that. He was number one with, uh, what's called In, In the, the club. club. Hell yeah. In the club. So, comes concert night, like, and it's crazy, like, this was my first concert at uh, Hypnotic. Sold out show, basically. Sold out, like, over capacity. Like, <laughs> like that That place hold, like, about a thousand some people. It was like, sick. that I'll night that, was dude. like, shit. Like, you barely could move in it. <laughs> because it was, 50, like, 50 Cent and Master P and all that. From the stage all the way to the back to the restroom type yeah, shit. Yeah, like, no room to fucking Damn. move. Like, Even it was cramped was so packed. Packed. Like, when I got there, I got there, like, Three hours early because they told me, hey, what's called? We sold so many tickets. I think like 3,000, 4,000 tickets. Like Fuck. it was over the fucking capacity. The fire marshal went in that bitch, so shut it down. He did? No, no. Oh, no, shit. No, I oh, said, if they would have. Oh, would've. shit. Oh, shit. Damn. So I got there, and you should have seen the line. Like people were out there, like all of Greenwood, like from, from, uh, from the freeway. I mean, not Greenwood, uh, Saratoga. From the radio station all the way down to, okay, you know that. Uh, like where the freeway is? Like, no, un, like past, because it's like it, 102. To the left like Greenwood's right. right here, over radio station right here, so probably like all the way down yeah. that road. Yeah, yeah, okay, all the way down Saratoga yeah, to yeah, Greenwood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 There was people, oh, the other way, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah there's yeah. people waiting, lined up, like mm-hmm. trying to get that good spot in the front and stuff like that. But yeah, well, a story about this, like a, a lot of people don't know about this, but. 50 Cent, like, was throwing a fit. He's all, what's called, like, I'm number one on, on uh, 106 and Park, BET, MTV, like. And he was I the opener. Headline. Yeah. yeah. Like, I want to headline the show. <laughs> and uh, my boss, Jesse, like, the one that booked the concert, they're all, no, nah, like, we already paid your deposit and stuff like that. Like, you're an opener. Like, you're going to open up for Master P. Like, this is his tour. Like, oh, like you can't tell me, like, oh, yeah, now nah, yeah. I'm not going to perform. I'm all, well, you're under contract. And, like, like he was literally throwing a fit. Like, I like was Like himself there. or he had, like, his people doing it? Himself. Damn. Like, 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 I was there. Young 50. You were right there in the room with him? <laughs> Young yeah, like, 50, I was yeah. there, like, You ain't backstage. telling him shit. Yeah. Yeah, like, throwing a fit. Like, and, and then finally he's like, you know what? All right, what's called? Fuck it. Like, as long as I'm getting paid, like. Whatever, <laughs> man, that show was crazy. Like all of Gene was there, like uh, fucking. And this is like what the Beck Young Mercy Bucks, CD, the fucking Young Lloyd Banks, Bucks, Lloyd Banks, like Lloyd Banks. Yeah, like, everybody was there. Like it, they barely came out. Like you know, like the, in the club blew up. So of course they're gonna go to. They were trying to put on everybody. Yeah, everybody had to put the, everybody on. Yeah, so, yeah. Okay, all, so since you were there and you saw this and you knew this. Was his performance, uh, like, reaction, crowd reaction bigger than the headliners? Duh. Than P's? No, nah, it was called Master P. Had, like, you got him? 
Yeah, he, he tore it he, down. He got he, he tore it down. Like, like, like he had that tank, Already. like that little tank in, in the stage. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. 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 Because Hypnotic, uh, the stage had a garage door in the back. Oh. So, so yeah, they got a little tank in that bitch and all that. Damn. And, like it was Damn. badass. Like, Did he have pyro and shit like that or what? Uh, no. Like, like but he just kind of, they didn't allow it. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. Because there were so many people and shit like that. Like that was one of the rules. Like. They, uh, they Shit, and that's no up pyro. against the stage, like this close to the yeah. table. But he brought out a yeah. fucking tank. Yeah, the little tank and stuff like that. Like G when it fucking tore the bitch up, Fifty Cent. Like, like he put on a show, but the reaction was Master P was like, that's yeah. sure. God damn. Yeah, but that was my my first concert right there, <laughs> and it was crazy. My first concert, and it was. And you were sixteen. Yeah, uh, I was a. I think I just turned seventeen. So damn. yeah, damn. But I was still still young. Shit. <laughs> God damn. I don't so, know how you're going to top that one, but here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for me as a P fan, that's pretty cool. And then as a 50 fan, because I remember, I didn't go to it, but I remember hearing like 50 was here and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, I remember like, hearing about it too. Like the same bro. dude who was singing this song, probably at the same time, like simultaneously. Yeah. Like, nah, I ain't think that. I was. mean, like, like I, uh, I re-met uh, 50 Cent a couple years ago, and he changed. Like, he was... A businessman like, like, like that, yeah. Like he was a businessman now. The businessman and stuff like that, and, yeah. and he wasn't like, oh, yeah. like I'm big shit, whatever. Nah, yeah, yeah, he's yeah. cool, laid back. Because a lot of artists, like, there's some artists that are fucking assholes and shit like that. <laughs> well, when was your first asshole artist? Uh, <laughs> shit, who was it? Uh, <laughs> you ain't gotta put his name. You could probably just tell the story. Uh, we don't want. You can put a name. We don't want to stop I, you from yeah, working. I put, with I put him. names. Nah, on. we don't want to stop you from oh, working with him in the future. Okay, okay, in okay. Case. Bet, bet, Some bet, people bet. got bad days. Already. No, nah, there was one artist <laughs> that. Uh, He's a Rick Ross. No, no, no. There was one artist. Uh, what's called, I'm not going to m- mention no names or anything right, like that. Right. But uh, <coughs> uh, he was doing his set. And this is a hypnotic, yeah. Hypnotic, like hypnotic concerts. Is this still Yellow Rose at the time, or it's already hypnotic? It's already no, 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 hypnotic. that's already hypnotic. So okay, had a hypnotic bottle outside and all yeah. that. Already, yeah, already, the marquee and all that. Yeah. Yeah. No, but but yeah, it was already hypnotic. Uh, it was a concert, it was packed, and uh, it went over time. Like two o'clock came, and he was still on the show, and like the. My boss is A, which thought we need to clear it out. Because oh. if not, CCPD will come. Yeah, and they're already outside. Yeah, like they're oh, already outside. They, they've been yeah. outside. Yeah. Yeah. And, it's yeah. hypnotic. Big concert <laughs> exactly. and all that. They're outside. Back then, they yeah. was always then They'll start A, what's called. It's already past two. And then back back then, they're like real strict with the alcohol and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, hell yeah. Now, like, they go over a little bit, whatever. Yeah, hell there. yeah. Yeah, but back in the day, like, they used to be real strict with the TV you and whatever. Walk, the you hell. at 155, you, you yeah. started throwing your stuff You got to get that last call and shit, start yeah. throwing it. Yeah, so uh, he went over the time, and I was DJing his set. Like, like a lot of artists back in the day didn't have no DJs. Like, oh shit, damn! Yeah, like, like they didn't well, have no still, DJs. Still, like they do today. Well, some of them do. The big ones that yeah, usually yeah, the come, big yeah, ones they have yeah. their own tour DJ. Yeah, and all yeah, that. Yeah, back but, in the day, it's like, hey, what's called? Like the DJ there is gonna play your set. Like, <laughs> get with him. Uh, get with the music and all that. Give it to him. Make sure he has it. And shit. be like, I'm gonna need more for that. This yeah. was like a Texas <laughs> artist or like a national artist. Uh, it was a Texas artist. Already. Yeah, uh, it was a Texas artist. So I was still playing his music. My, my my stuff was still on. But the sound guy, the sound guy was out there in the crowd. Yeah. And he turned off Cut the music. Shit off. He turned off the music, and that artist just looked at me, and shit, he wanted to fight me. I'm Damn. All, hey. Yeah, DJ gets it first. Yeah, I'm all, yeah, he thinks it's me. Yeah. I'm all, shit, I took out my headphones, hey, it's still playing, like, yeah. it's not me. Yeah. It's the sound guy, and he, like, literally, he wanted to fight me and all that. I'm all, hey, like, shit, tell the sound guy. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, so it was called, he, like, like, he got over and shit like that, like, he got paid, like. Yeah, yeah. What's called? If the music cuts off, you're still gonna get paid. So I don't know. I guess he was just like he was playing that one song that was popular and all that, and I had to uh, the the sound guy shut it off while he was in the middle so, of that song. While he was in the middle of the song, yeah. like it was his last song. They should have just let him God play it. Damn. But it was after the time, and they cut they cut his shit off. That Thought it was contract me. Contract was a contract. <laughs> two o'clock. Two, yeah, two o'clock. o'clock. Yeah. So at one hundred two point nine, do you eventually get your own radio show? Yeah. Uh, what's called Elite. Uh, he moved to middays because, like, being on uh, the night show DJ, you're there, start at 7 and get out, like, at midnight, 1 o'clock in the morning. So what are the, the night show hour? Like, what's uh, a night, night show, show hour? It's standard. It's uh, 7 to midnight. Okay. Yeah, 7 Alrighty. to midnight. So Elite's like, hey, what's called, like, 
shit, you want that show? Like, I'm like, hell yeah. So I'm 17 going on 18. And, and it's was, on you to produce the whole yeah, yeah, show? To, to pr- and this is Monday show. through Friday? Yeah, Monday through Friday. And, uh, yeah, they are, uh, hey, shit, Dynamite's ready. Like, let's throw them on the nights. So I was competing at, back in the day with uh, what's called Gino was on there for a little bit, and then Nick Russo. All right. I don't remember Nick Russo. Yeah, hell Nick yeah. at night. Yeah, hell like, yeah. Like, I was competing with that guy and stuff like that and shit. And me and Nick were, were close friends and stuff like that, so yeah. it wasn't really yeah. not – yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, it wasn't really a competition. Like, I'm like, hey, what's called? You do you, I do me. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so, yeah, like, yeah. they gave me the freedom to, hey, what's called? Come up with a 7 o'clock uh, hour show, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, whatever. So, uh, I did the, I did a, like a shout out at 7. I forgot what I, I named it. Like, I changed names and stuff All like right. that. But, but I did the top 8 at 8. Yeah, I was saying, uh, hell yeah. 9 o'clock uh, throwback. And then uh, I think. 10 o'clock was just like, I just take shout outs and stuff like that. And then uh, uh, nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, I did like a mix, like a 30 minute mix. Okay. And then I did the smash hour at 11, like a love hour, but I I call it the smash smash hour. hour. (laughs) (laughs) Some fuck action shit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So from like seven to be from like seven to 10, you're just playing music. You're not actually standing on front of Okay. Yeah. yeah, Because radio, it's, it's all a computer. Like the computer, it, it generates like it, it, like it's three slots and then the songs go and you really don't have to mess with the the thing. Already. Like only when you're doing the drops, like uh, when you're talking live on the radio. Yeah. Like you pause it, put music in it and stuff like that, like an instrumental talk to it. Yeah. And, and stuff like that and interact with the people. Like the phone calls and all that, it, it's all recorded and then we just edit it and we'll put it on the radio. Like we, all right, what's called? We're going to, a guy calls or somebody calls, hey, shout out, blah, 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 blah. We edit it real quick, make sure they don't cuss, and then we just put it on the radio. So that's basically radio. Like yeah, that, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we did, uh, like, the artist interviews and stuff like that. I used to do a lot of uh, call-ins. Like, they used to call in, and uh, we actually did in-studio interviews and stuff like that. So, like, I'd done interviews with, like, uh, of course, Zero, Trey the Truth, like all the Houston rappers, like interviewed them in studio and shit. Yeah, Damn. And on your like show, that. on your radio yeah. show, on my show, like, like, like they, yeah, they used to call me. Hey, what's called Zeros in town? Like, what's called you're gonna do? Interviews. And at this point, you're still a teen. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I was a teenager. Like, just dead and, and it's life. crazy. It's crazy. Like, I didn't get like. Yeah, Intimidated like, and shit. No, like, like they're just re- like normal people. Like, hell yeah. Because you're already so used to doing yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, so used to it. Yeah, hell it yeah. It doesn't phase you. Oh shit, that's fucking yeah. zero hell right yeah. there. Like, hell yeah. Yeah, and zero. Like I, I actually did a little like tour with them, like a little Texas tour. Oh, oh shit. shit. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> so and, and it's crazy. Like we did a little. It was like five city. Uh, it's not even city towns in in the valley. Like we're in the valley yeah. area. Sold out though. Yeah, <laughs> and there was one show like Del Rio, uh, Del Rio, Texas. It's like a little bit past Uvalde. Yeah, 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 hell yeah. Uh, like Del Rio's a border town. Like Mexico's just right there. Yeah. Uh, we went and uh, it was sold out. It was a sold out show, and we're DJing and uh, DJing. Like I did the beginning and stuff like that, and then Zero came up. We did his show. Well, it was like three songs before he ended. This dude. Uh, in the front, I, I don't know what happened, but you just see a fucking uh, beer bottle fly at the stage. At the stage, and it hit zero. Oh, oh man! And zero looked at me. He's like, "Hey, Dynamite, shut that shit off." I'm like, oh. "Fuck!" <laughs> I pressed that bitch, <laughs> turned off, and he started talking shit like to the guy. Damn, damn. Well, you know these small towns, like everybody knows each other and stuff like that, and they're gonna have each other's back. I was gonna say, did they give him up? Like, no, <laughs> don't fuck what? up my concert. They didn't give him up. Like, I was like, That's oh shit. Shout so, out to that town, though. Yeah, <laughs> shout out to Del Rio. God damn. So, um, yeah, like he stopped the show. Like he's like, hey, I'm done. So everybody started taking off, and then uh, like we started packing up and stuff like that. And then one of the security guards came up to us, and they're all eight. Hey, they're outside. Oh, shit. Damn. Like, they're not leaving. Yeah. But do you like some older Mexican cats and shit? Or yeah. Like, oh, yeah. shit. Yeah, so they stayed out there. Like, nobody was leaving the parking lot. 
and we're a fuck. Like, what are we gonna do? And z- back in the day, Zero had that minivan with the swinger. Yeah, yeah, y'all swingers. went in there. Yo. No, no, it's called we like he had his and he had his security. Yeah, and then we had our uh, like it was like a van, passenger van, whatever. Yeah, so we had that with our security guards. Like basically, it was a one hundred two point nine event. Okay, yeah, it was a one hundred two point nine little tour. Oh, okay, like, like I don't know how they did this, but That's they crazy. took all the liquor and all that shit. Like we had a trailer. And they're selling liquor at the concerts and stuff like that. <laughs> like it was a, a on the road hypnotic, basically. Yeah. <laughs> y'all, y'all are selling a, a party. Mobile club. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. they're selling a party straight Man, up. He killed it because he had the liquor license and the motherfucking club. So he already knew what the fuck yeah, he was so doing. So I don't shit. know how he did it. Like we went through checkpoints and all that. Like I don't know Damn. how he did it, but we we managed. Like it was like f- like little five towns. And y'all just followed road the whole time. Yeah. And he was in that van on swingers. Yeah. <laughs> So what's called? We tell Zero, <laughs> hey, what's called? He, nobody's leaving out there. Like, like, what do you want to do? And he's like, hey, what's called? I would just get in the the passenger van with y'all, and I'll have my driver just drive the van out. So, <laughs> what's called? All the vehicles, our vehicles were in the back. Like nobody had access to back there. Yeah, like hell yeah. Yeah. So we all went. Well, we're all shit. We got to get out of town. Like, we can't stay here. Like, stay like the we, night here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They're real. They all know us and shit like that. It's a small ass town. So. Fucking vans all plastered with yeah. them. <laughs> so it's called, we, uh, His we shit went in the passenger and shit. van. Zero was in it. We went to our hotel, got our shit, and took off. That van, uh, Zero's van took off. And the whole fucking parking lot followed. Damn. Yeah. Like, yeah. they wanted to do something. Like, like it was crazy. Like, the whole town followed, and then, like, we called the, the driver, and he's like, hey, they're still following me, and I'm, like, fucking 40 minutes out of fucking Del Rio. <laughs> they trying to get God me. damn. Yeah, so, let's call, we, uh, we just fucking took zero and just met up with, they finally gave up and just turned back. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, so, that's yeah, fucking crazy ass stories. I bet you them niggas in Del Rio have a whole have a whole story talking yeah, about we yeah, ran zero yeah, out of yeah, town, yeah, baby. Yeah, we chased them all the way yeah. out of there. <laughs> <laughs> Take your Houston ass back. Yeah, God, that's damn. Crazy. Like the I, whole I town, wonder if he's like, ever been back. I don't know, probably not. <laughs> and these are the beginning. This is yeah, the this beginning. Is the beginning. This, like, this, is, this is the beginning. Yeah. Like, like it's crazy. Like zero. Like every show we did with them was sold out, packed. Like. Yeah, mm-hmm. and, and this is like, what years again? Uh, this was I was two thousand two, three. Yeah, no, no, that's probably like oh no, five, oh no, no. yeah, oh six, oh six. Yeah, because yeah, okay. yeah. yeah, I graduated oh seven. So, yeah, yeah, so before you graduated, yeah, oh six. Yeah, so this is like prime time. Hell zero. yeah! I, okay, now I'm gonna mind you. I'm Fresh out of jail, straight. zero. Yeah. Probably yeah. hell I'm yeah. A, I'm gonna say something straight I real hate quick. Yeah, yeah. Hey, D, for the first time, everybody thought dynamite. When you hear him on the radio, you thought he was a brother. Yeah, everybody thought DJ Dynamite. Da, 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 he sounded like a on some real. He sounded like a nigga. <laughs> yeah. So oh, yeah. everybody thought, man, where is this cat at? Da, da, da. You see this band geek looking ass? Dude? <laughs> <laughs> you be like, who the fuck is this? Shit, because back in the day, I had the fucking gelled ass hair. And yeah, shit like that and highlights. <laughs> so, had shit. the bangs. You had the bangs. Yeah. Don't lie. Yeah, he had the, yeah, bangs. He had the, he had the bangs, bangs, man. He had the bangs. The bangs that crept and, over and the forehead. That, the, the fucking lightning gel, the one that. That kind of grease lightning. I, you used to like, like with that tres flores. Yeah. The, the three flies. <laughs> yeah. God damn. Yeah, yeah, so they thought, yeah, like, like, and that's they saw funny. me there. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> You're that, that's probably how they felt about Paul Wall when they seen him. <laughs> But Paul Wall, you could tell. Dynamite, you could be riding with him and you wouldn't know that was him in the car. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about Jesse from uh, 102.9 to the Yellow Rose for a little bit. So mm. he was, I'm guessing Jesse seems like mm. a, he was a stiff ass nigga. Yeah. He's a chick, like he did, can you say he, he basically with 50 Cent, he wasn't backing down with 50, like, or was his security no. people not backing down? No, like, like he, like he was with, the, he was right there with the shits. Like he went. By contract, hey, what's it called? You sign this contract, yeah, you're a, you're a, you're an opener, you're an opener. Like, what's it called? The contract it says, and I'm paying this contract, and that's it. And, and it's crazy because with Jesse, like, like he gave me that opportunity and stuff like that. And then like throughout the, I think, the the second year that I was there, my birthday falls in spring break on March 18th. Already. So he's like, hey, what's it called? We're gonna start doing uh, birthday concerts for you. Like your birthday concert, birthday bashes. Yeah, birthday yeah. bashes, but with the concert. Like, so what's called? Like he always used to tell me, "Hey, what's called? What artist you want to bring, like for your concert? Yeah, like, for your birthday." So I used to tell him, "Hey, what's called? I want uh, David Banner." 
Boom. You know what I'm saying? There wasn't like a, but there was like a two thousand dollar limit. No, like no like, limit. What's up? Because back in the day, it's like these artists were just coming up. Yeah, they were coming up, but but they weren't charging that much. And also, I feel like also with Club Hypnotic, it fit a thousand yeah. people. So if so you, you do twenty do. tickets, I mean twenty dollar tickets, you're automatically gonna make fucking. Twenty thousand, you know what I'm saying, off top shit. Oh, yeah, like, like you could, you, make you could easily make your money back. Like back in the day, I think zero were getting him for like five, six thousand dollars. Mm. Oh, yeah. Now shit, you fucking sixty, seventy thousand. Like it's crazy. Uh, uh, what's called one of the artists that he didn't get. <laughs> It was Lil Wayne. Like, I told him, hey, I want Lil Wayne. Damn. And Damn, back Wayne in the day, Lil Wayne was charging 100 He tried to make it happen, though? Yeah, yeah, he tried. He, he tried, tried to make to it happen. Wiggle it down. Yeah. Uh, nah. Lil Wayne, at the time, uh, was called, that's when uh, Young Money and all them came out. Uh, he was charging 120000 They had Nicki and all them yeah, and Nikki shit. Yeah, Nicki and Damn. all them. Drake barely got on. Damn. Drake like, he was charging 120 Tiger. And he's Damn. all, I could do it, but... Like, tickets are going to have to be crazy. 75. Hell, yeah. And I don't know if Corpus will do it. Like, let's call it. It's, the hypnotic is small. And then that's when, uh, I forgot who picked it up, but American Bank Center. Oh, shit. Held it. Yep. And, and that was the time when uh, when Lil Wayne got busted and, and foul. Yeah. Oh, for shit. For the weed. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, that concert, that concert was the, the day before. And they pulled him over and they, and they arrested him. So and like uh, Z95 had that that concert, uh, like they're one of the pr- uh, promoters. Yeah, like yeah, that. yeah, hell yeah. They're they're like, oh shit, like is Lil Wayne gonna show up? Like if they're gonna let him out, like he was stuck at the yeah, at the hell checkpoint. yeah, hell yeah. I remember that yeah. shit. God damn. Yeah, so shit, I still went to that concert. I had front row. And <laughs> ah, at shit. The Bank Center. <laughs> hell yeah, man. We always talk. There's always this one picture that floats around on Facebook of Big Mo standing on stage, and behind him is a. Uh, <laughs> a 102.9, the bomb banner, and then you say that you're standing behind that banner yeah. on on the uh, turntables and shit. Let's talk about that night if you remember that night, man. man that night, shit, it was crazy. Zero like, was the headliner, right? Yeah, it was Zero, Zero. Big Mo, and Big I Hawk was he, here. Yeah, Hawk was here. Flip. They a bunch, a bunch yeah, of the screwed like, up like, like, members. Like yeah, 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 hell yeah, hell it yeah. Was, yeah. It was, it was, it was, I remember yeah. Hawk being there, Mister yeah. Three Two being there, yeah, shit. Yeah. I remember screwed up records and tapes being in the building, actually yep. selling screw CDs and shit. And outside, it, uh, they had a little little tent set outside. Yeah, the, right I think they had the like the band. band or some shit outside. Yeah. Like I remember that night. Hell yeah, that yeah. Night was crazy. Like damn, like it was. We even had Young Star come through there that night. Would you too. be in charge of DJing the whole night, or you would like get the you would rotate with another DJ where you would get to go backstage well, and hang out a little night, bit too? Uh, that night we had Dragon wasn't on it. Uh, we had Encore DJ Encore. I don't know if you remember him. I never heard of him. Yeah, mm-hmm. Encore and Joe. Like it was three DJs that night because it was a big concert. Hey, yo. So yeah, like like we uh, we had our breaks and stuff like that. Like oh, three really? DJs. All right, what's called? You do this hour, I do that, and we just take turns. So yeah, like like we we got to be back there in the backstage hanging out. Like back in the day, I used to smoke and stuff like that. Already, like now I don't. But back in the day, yeah, I, I used to smoke. So I was smoking back there with fucking Big Mo and all this. Yeah, like, it's crazy. Like it's like how these artists are like well fucking known and shit like that. Yeah, in Texas. Hell and yeah. And I was just chilling like yeah. me and you right yeah. now, just talking to them and stuff like that. And yeah. hell yeah. See what's some what's probably one of the craziest things that you saw at Hypnotic that you can talk about on camera. Uh, hypnotic, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Maybe backstage in the crowd or any in the outside in the entrance. Like mm. I know that death had happened there, but maybe it, something and, like other than yeah, that. Yeah, and that night, like I, was, I actually was, we'll we'll get into that. Yeah. But we'll, was there any other thing that you saw crazy? Nah, just like you know, like the people getting people females, getting head in the corner, and the females pools. being groupies and shit now, like that. Back like there. people get hip side head with pool sticks and shit. Yeah, like, like fights and stuff. Oh, uh, yeah. One night, uh, bro, you ever saw like a bra? <laughs> I know, I remember hearing about like brawls <laughs> and, and riots and fucking goddamn. Uh, hypnotic. I don't know how true them shit no, was. Like, yeah, that's, they're, that's they're true. true. Oh, shit. That's, that's what I'm talking night, about. Okay. Yeah, they're a true. They like, true. One night, uh, we had J-Dog and uh, uh, First 48. I think I heard about yep. this night. First 48 was 
popular right there. That was the, the that was the riot song. Yeah, that, that was the song right there. That was to make it. If that somebody, if you didn't like song. somebody, that was his last. That song was that song he was to play when they knew that when that song played. Oh, uh, you know what happened? The, you went to you go, go look for him. Yeah, that's when you walked across the club and you knew you see people standing in the club God, with something. Ready. I don't know what happened. I was up there. I was playing the the song. He's like, all right. What's called play uh, uh, my last song uh, first forty eight. I said all right. And we boom. already knew it. Played it. Not even 20 seconds into the song, like I am, I'm looking like hypnotic is packed. They say the fights would always, like, if you're standing on the stage looking into the crowd that way, they say the fights would always start on that uh, side. On the side by the pool <laughs> by tables. By the pool tables, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Going by the pool no, tables. No, but this the night. By the restroom. This night was. The restroom was right, right in the back. Right, 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 right in the way back. 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 Like, yeah, yeah guys. Well, I'm saying that's where you get somebody over there. Yeah. yeah. No, but this, no, this was. <laughs> yeah, this front night. stage. This night, J Dog, uh, w- we play the first forty eight, and then I just see front row this dude just punch the shit out of this dude, <laughs> bam like that, and then all I see is one of our security guards was about to get hit, and then you just see DJ Joe fucking flying from the stage, <laughs> bam, like yeah. that yeah. guy. he flew up from the stage, he flew from the stage. <laughs> Hit the guy like like the guy that, that was, was about, about to hit, to hit, <laughs> hit him, and then you just see the whole club fucking right. riot. Up. Oh shit! God damn! <laughs> like I'm gonna stay up here on this stage. Yeah, shit, I'm, I'm good right here. Like I got J Dog security plus our hypnotic security. <laughs> so that's I'm what I'm saying. Good. Was that like a club hypnotic security versus the hood? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, the yeah. Western, the western and north. And, and it's crazy. Western. Like like what's called? Yeah, we plenty of fights, and then we had one tea night. <laughs> one teen night, like I was still DJing the teen nights, like Already. that's how I started. Yeah, we had one teen night, it was the most packed, like it was wall to wall, and we're live on the radio. And then a remote, yeah, like we're live, mm-hmm. and I was playing the music and stuff like that. And then I get a text from my boss, hey, shut it off. I'm oh shit, so I shut off the signal, and all these teens, fucking big ass fight, like I guess they planned it. Like, like the schools, hey, what's called? We're going hypnotic, and this is going to happen. So all the schools were there. They started fighting, and you see the bar stools flying and shit like that. And our security is like, oh, shit, like, how are we going to control this? Because we're not at 18 and up where we could yeah. fucking yeah. hit This man the handled these. Yeah, hell yeah, yeah. Like, we were dealing with little kids. Yeah. So they're, like, grabbing them and, like, trying to not no hits or anything like yeah. that trying to restrain them like yeah. without hitting them like it was fucking crazy like ccpd had to come and that was the last teen night we ever did damn <laughs> that was it yeah that was it after that like so we're all hell now that's a real uh, like liability and shit like that we don't like something worse could have happened like yeah. uh, yeah, a teen yeah. could have died or something like that and shit that would be it We'd have been hit for one hundred two. One hundred two for one hundred two would have been done. So while you while you were DJing for the radio station and that hypnotic and stuff, like did your value increase as far as like just like a a, a quince DJ? Yeah, yeah, like like sure, in events know, and stuff like yeah, that. Like like I, I I double up the price and stuff like that because I'm on radio. Like, yeah, hell yeah. It's not a regular DJ that's going up to your quince and stuff like that. Hell now yeah. Now you stepped into like a celebrity type. Yeah. Level. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like a little local celebrity and shit like that back in the day. Like it, it was up. crazy. Damn. And you were going to West. So you were on air on the radio yeah. and going to West Coast. So. Going to West Coast. Man, fuck that school now. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you would just invest more time. Like, what made you not do that? You know what I mean? Like not say fuck school and, and stay doing the DJ shit or whatever. I mean, like... But he said the people the people at school probably believed in what he was doing and didn't treat him like he was like... Oh, shit but I'm just on. saying, like, you get a taste of that life and you're yeah, like, like, nah, I want to step back to this. Like, I could do this more, you know, more I mean, of this. Like, like me, like, I guess, I don't know, like, my grandparents and stuff, like, like they raised me and stuff like that, so I didn't want to, oh, like, I'm Got just going to quit school and stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I just wanted to finish and whatever. Hey, shit. I graduated high school. Like, That's what's up. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. yeah. the stories you're telling, you ain't even tapped 18 yet. Like, no, like, that's what I'm no. saying. Like, like, there was, yeah, a, time, yeah, there was yeah. a time that I thought, shit, like, I should just stop, but yeah. I said, no, nah, I can't do that to them. Like, shit. That's what's up. Yeah, so I just continued. I, 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 I didn't let them quit. <laughs> I didn't let them quit. Yeah. <laughs> so so what, hey, what, when do y'all to me? <laughs> uh, and where do y'all meet at? <laughs> it's a funny, funny story behind that one. <laughs> no, nah, uh, <laughs> shit, hypnotic, like, like uh, what's called Hurricane used to go. Like, he wasn't Hurricane at the time. And uh, what's called, he actually, 
uh, he was DJing with another DJ company, and we used to run into each other like at events and stuff like that. Oh, really? And that's how I learned from another DJ about. One like, thing people don't know about Hurricane is I didn't start DJing hip hop. No, it was the hot. I shit. was I'm oh, the first. Yeah. I was the first black DJ to be in Quintanillas, uh, <laughs> three yeah, ball, like he's playing country, country. Yeah. 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 The, I'm talking about Island where I'm talking like about that. Dalila's on airs where the barber school is. Yeah. Yeah. There used to be a club there. Now you got 1500. More house, like I said, that's what that's what they was back then on some real stuff because you had Border Patrol sitting outside with us, you had CCPD there. Um, yeah, you had, <clears throat> everybody trying to hit a lady. Yeah, so you had that doing things. So we linked up by one day. I didn't even know him really as Dynamite. I knew him as Chris. Oh, really? yeah. So we go to a party in the West. We were chill, uh, chilling at uh, Bell's backyard or my cousin Gerald. Shout out to my cousin Gerald, Aaron, and them. All they, right. they, we, they all at this party. Well, Chris pull up, and everybody's talking about him, laughing, and, hey, da, da, hey he going to pull up. He going to do this. Da, da, da. I'm standing there. Yeah, there was a house party. Like, I was fucking. The DJ? Yeah. yeah. DJ and and everyone's house. already hyped you up and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> coming, like, it's gonna be so I'm like, who crazy. the fuck are y'all? Who is this y'all talking about? Da, da, da. I'm like, man, fuck this dude. Da, 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 da. Fuck him. Because everybody there knew who I was, too, at the time, too. Because, like I said, I didn't just do the, a lot of the, the Hondo Club. I, I was working with Z95, the Beach to Bays, the Battle of the Bays, the ba- Bayball Ballet Hoops. We were setting up stuff doing those. All right, all right, all right. Like, his, like, his DJ crew was more established, like, yeah. production-wise and stuff like yeah. that. All like, right. us was just, like, me and my uncle, like, we were doing the Quinceanera's weddings. Like, yeah. they were doing, like, the so we jumped events in. and stuff all like right, that. All right. So he walked up. And mind you, I'm thinking, I hear dynamite, I'm thinking, he a brother. So I'm looking all around, looking all around for everybody, like, who is this brother that's going to be coming to DJ? Here come this band-looking geek, <laughs> his nerdy baseball cap backwards, walking up with a backpack. So at that time, like, I went into the tall tees yeah. and all that from Bomb Records. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Shit. He, wearing, he wearing the old screw, uh, yeah. screw. you remember the old red screw shirt with the screw head, the SUC with Man, that see, red yeah, screw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got you a know, lot of those classics still? Yeah, like, like yeah, we still got a bunch like of like in boxes and shit like that. Yeah, like, shit. Like actually, Dragon, like he, uh, like me and Dragon, like like he he taught me a lot of stuff. Like he's yeah. late, what's called like all right, Peter late yeah, Dragon boy. Well, rest in peace, man. Like it's crazy. Like, he taught us both a lot. <laughs> yeah. So Dragon, like he, uh, he calls me one night. He's like, hey, uh, this lady's gonna call you. Uh, what's called whatever she wants, like. Like, like, do what she wants. I said, all right, shit. The fuck does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, she calls me. She's like, yeah, what's called? Uh, I'm, I forgot her name. Uh, probably she's like, yeah, Dragon the best. Uh, called me and told me about you and stuff like that. We're trying to push this new artist. Uh, he's from Brooklyn, New York. I said, oh, shit. And uh, he's like, yeah, what's called? Um, if you could play his song on your show, like, what's called? We could send you some stuff. I said, hell yeah, free stuff. I'm down. So I started playing his song, and uh, you play a song on the radio, like, there's all these, uh, like, they could see, like, all these people, like. Dude, like, what, the ASCAP, the BMIs and all yeah, that? Yeah, the BMIs yeah, yeah, and the, stuff like that. Yeah. Like they, uh, they see how how many times the records spin and stuff like that, what times and stuff like yeah. that, and, like, if it's doing good and stuff like that from all over. Well, Corpus was, like, one of the highest Cause I was playing the shit out of that song <laughs> <laughs> because Dragon's all whatever she was like do it. I said all right, and at the time I could have got in trouble. Like, yeah. That's what I'm saying. At that yeah. time you you didn't have to stick to no playlist or nothing, or you were supposed to be sticking no, to like, 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 to like I was sticking to a playlist, but like we couldn't like play artists and stuff like that. Like like at the time it was like. Well, we got to stick with our schedule. Like, there was times where we could play whatever. Yeah, that's what I say. So you have that window whenever you're maybe doing your mix yeah. or whatever that you can yeah, throw yeah, whatever I in that. throw in, like, a local and stuff Yeah, like already. That. But yeah. during the mother times, it's basically, yeah, hey, you, stick you got to stick with the script. Yeah. Right, that needs to play. So I was sneaking that song in. Damn. But it was still getting recognized on all the uh, platforms and stuff like that. Was it, like, an independent artist, too? Or they were, yeah, like... It was, called, it was uh, like, long story short, like... Uh, like he was. Oh, you could go into. It. I want to hear the story. Shit. I yeah, just like 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 he was an independent, but he was the the nephew of of Russell Simmons. That's Fat Farm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you get a lot of Fat Farm. Fat Farm. <laughs> so like I actually got a call from him, 
and he's all, we, we've been seeing how this, uh, this song's doing good in Corpus and stuff like that. Like, we appreciate you for spinning my, my nephew's song. I'm all, nephew. From Russell? Yeah, Russell. Oh, Russell. Damn. I'm all, oh, shit. Like, Dragon is connected. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Dragon boy, is Dragon connected. Dragon was on there, boy. And uh, he's all, yeah, uh, what's your size? Like, your, your pants size, your shirt size, and your shoe size. Uh, so I told him all that. He's all right. It was, I'll send you a package. Uh, like, it'll be in Corpus in two days. So I get the package. It's a big ass fucking box, and it, it was all fat farmed out and stuff like that. The labeling and all that. I open it, and there's like all these pants, all these shirts, all these shoes, damn, all my sizes and shit like that. So like, he's like, yeah, just just continue playing this song and shit. What's called, we'll hook you up and stuff like that. So I was getting those boxes like every like every month, new stuff and all that, all fat farmed out and shit. So my senior year, shit. It's fat farm. Damn. <laughs> Damn, so Russell Simmons, yeah, Corpus Christi called. came out of, the words Corpus Christi came out of Russell Simmons. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah God that was a Dragon Connect. Like, Hell yeah. You know, like, Dragon was deep. Like, I'm all shit. Like, like, I know he was from New York and all but that. But it didn't surprise you, like, this dude's no, uncle's no. Russell Simmons, but not not about to close, uh, how, like, this dude's Russell Simmons. His uncle's Russell Simmons, but I'm having to sneak this record in because he's an independent artist. Yeah, yeah. like 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 it was weird. Like I'm all like I, I wasn't putting it together. I'm all shit, fuck it. Like I'm getting I getting some free stuff. Yeah, hell yeah, <laughs> damn. Yeah, but uh, but yeah, he actually I forgot the name of the artist, but but I don't know if he's still with it and stuff like that. But shit, was that a form of payola? Basically, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going? That's why I could have get uh, got in trouble, but like, like, they never picked it up. Like Scott, I told my boss about it. He's like, "Hey, what's called? Shit, they're sending you stuff. All right, we ain't got to pay you." <laughs> yeah. But he knew that they were because of the record, or he just thought that it was just basically because they were on your team type shit. Yeah, just like. But he was talking shit to you about trying to slip in that record a little bit and shit or what? Yeah, like, like, like he kind of talked shit about it, but he's like, you know what, just whatever. Like, don't do it again. No, really. <laughs> yeah, so I stopped. And, of course, when I stopped, the boxes. <laughs> the boxes <stopped> too. <laughs> damn. <laughs> God shit. damn, man. Good old days. Hell yeah. God damn. So when does, uh, what, uh. One uh, club hypnotic closes before that because it's one the one hundred two point nine actual studio is not run out of the same place no more, right? No, it's still, no. It's still run there, but uh, uh, Ed Ocanias, uh he used to be with Z ninety five, and then he went to one hundred two point nine. Like basically, he runs everything is from his house. Like he like he has a legit studio and stuff like that. So he makes all the program uh, uh, music. Uh, and sends it to the station. And it's all, right. all computerized. Okay, all right. Yeah, radio's all, right. all computers all and stuff right. like that. So, so he could he could send everything from from home and stuff like that. The location's still there, but it's just not in use as far yeah, as not like, in use as actual people. Like I was the last one to. to so the club club uh, hypnotic closed before you were the last one out there. No, no, uh, uh, club hypnotic was still going down, but we had some incidents that people actually passed, and it kind of. The reputation, hey, like it's so, not safe anymore. Like, yeah. so after y'all were still open after those incidents, but it's just yeah, people yeah, weren't. Yeah, we're still opening, but the the the, the crowd the just, crowd started easily yeah. dying down and stuff like that. Plus, after those incidents and stuff like that, like CCPD, where was, don't say police was, was on our ass. Like, hey, like people stop. were like, they pull up to hypnotic and they see all these fucking cops. They cars turn around out there. And they turn around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what, what was killing our, our, our crowd and stuff like that. But, like, stuff happens. And, yeah, like, people lost their lives and stuff like that. And, like, it just easily yeah. just faded out. But, yeah, hip, shit, Hypnotic was. was that was a time. Hell, day, yeah, yeah. Shit. From the Yellow Rose to Hypnotic shit. Yeah. I so, many, shit. so many memories in, in that building. Hell, yeah. <laughs> Bad memories, good memories. Like, it's. I got to tell people before. Never be, never lived never be another hypnotic. <laughs> Hell yeah. So whenever yeah. you say you were the last one to leave the actual station stage, what do you mean by that? No, like, uh, it was 2000. My oldest daughter is tw uh, 11. So she was, it was her first birthday. Like, uh, like he called, like, I asked for it all because it was my daughter's birthday. And uh, my boss, all right, what's got just do voice tracks? Voice tracks is like where you go record your show, mm -hmm. like you're there. Yeah. But it's all computerized. All right. Like I'm still talking on the radio and all that. It's still going. Well, that day, 
something happened to the computer where my voice tracks weren't working. And, like, he called me, like, bitching at, like, yelling at me. Because on, on the radio, on the live radio, it's basically fucking up. Yeah, yeah like, yeah, like, yeah, like yeah. the music was playing, <laughs> but my voice tracks weren't playing where I'm there. Like, it seems that I'm there. Yeah. Because we're pushing one of the concerts, and it was that day, and we needed that push, like, to bring in more people. So, uh, yeah, the voice tracks didn't play, and it was at my daughter's birthday, like, my first birthday for my daughter first uh one years old and i said you know what i quit <laughs> Damn, I, I was done yeah i'm done and he didn't believe me like he's all right let's call see you monday <laughs> Hell, no, i quit Damn. i quit uh at the time like i already got like i was kind of like easing out out of the radio thing because my daughter was like I, I was never there, like, in the beginning stages. Already. So I said, you know what? Like, it's time to change my career path, whatever. So I got a regular job, but it was, like, doing the graphics and raps and stuff Alrighty. like that. So I just eased myself out there. And then at the time, like, Elite One, G Money, Little Richard, they all went their separate ways. Like, I guess they got better opportunities in, in radio. So everybody was already gone yeah, whenever yeah, you Yeah, like, everybody yeah. was already, all right, Hypnotic is already dying and stuff like that like king rich and that one show was already done yeah like like everybody was already phasing out so i was like the last one still there like Damn. like they had me doing, last one uh, hanging on yeah still hanging on on my shit what's called like it's gonna get better it's gonna get better but like all that stuff with hypnotic and all that is it's just killing us and, and that kind of like tied into the radio yeah, shit. yeah tied into the radio because that was one of our main incomes and yeah stuff like that like that kept the radio a lot oh, already, so, already. yeah because radio <laughs> radio it's like the sales the, the ads sales and, the, and the ads uh, and stuff like that that keeps you commercials alive. and shit like that yeah. yeah hell yeah like like there was one at one time like i was gonna i actually got a job offer in san antonio for uh it was the i forgot what station it was and like i i took it I said, all right, shit, what's called New City, like San Antonio Spurs yeah. and all that shit. Damn. I'm there. So I actually, all right, what's called, uh, you start like in two weeks, whatever. Like if you need a place, like we could, uh, like we could basically help you find an apartment, whatever, until you get on your feet. Yeah. So everything was all paid. Like, like they looked at the ratings and stuff like that. They're like, yeah, what's called, we want to get him here in San Antonio for Damn. a radio. So with your own show and shit like that, yeah, with Damn. the show and stuff like that, because it was a brand new station yeah. and their their numbers were good and stuff like that. And then they call me, hey, what's called? We're closing. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, within well, the two week frame. Yeah, in a two week frame, <laughs> because their <laughs> sales said, team, their sales team wasn't making making the numbers. So the main the uh, owners of the station, yeah, like, you know what? Hey, what's called? Like your sales, like your ratings and all that, they're good, but your sales is not. Not selling it, no ad, no commercials, yeah, no, and, no like commercials that. and stuff like that. Hell we yeah. can't, we can't be open. Hell yeah! So they literally, it was, it was probably like February. They they switched, like they shut down the station and play, uh, started playing Christmas music. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> In fucking February, like yeah. for like two months straight Christmas music, like until they got. I think now it's like a, a Spanish station. Like, yeah. It's crazy, like how radio, like it, it's all with sales, like commercials and stuff like that. That what keeps it. Keeps it alive. Keeps it alive and stuff like that. So you went from the beginning of fucking getting there at fucking 102.9 yeah, to, to the seeing end. them having a fucking street team, yeah, probably street team, a yeah. fucking sales team, a merchant, uh, not I mean, not merchant, a marketing team and all that type of shit. Yeah. So yeah. whenever you were, they wasn't, whenever you were the last one there, there wasn't none of, none of them left? No, like, like I was, was just, actually going out there. You were doing all that. Yeah, I was doing all that. Like, sales <laughs> And I was running a, at the time we had the the Russ Parr morning show. It was a syndicated show. Yeah. And I was there because 102.9, we didn't have the technology where a syndicated show could run by itself. So I was literally there in the morning fucking putting the, the commercial ads in it, bringing them live, turning them off and stuff like that. And I still work night. So, Ooh. yeah, so I was morning. So I got there at fucking four o'clock in the morning. What? Start the Russ Power morning show. They were done at 10. Went home. Went to sleep for a little bit. Came back at 6. And then left at 1. Like, for a whole year. And I was like, damn. Like, I need to, I need to stop. Because I'm missing my, my little girl's yeah. growing up. Like, she's 1 years old. And I still haven't spent no time. Uh, so, when everybody was, like, on the way. Or you're seeing everybody slowly, like, phase away. You're, like, you're not thinking, like. Yeah, like, like I was thinking. And that's when that opportunity came up in San Antonio. And I was, like, shit, this, this is my, 
my ticket out because. But you said at some point you were also thinking like it's gonna get better too. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna get better. So I was kind of like hoping I like shit. One hundred two point nine made made me in the very beginning. Yeah. So like I had faith. Like oh, man, really? it's Hell gonna yeah. it's gonna happen. We're gonna bring it back, but it just it just died down. Like Damn. till this day. There's no fucking DJs on on 102.9. It's just music. Damn. And it's funny because they're still really? number one. Yeah. No <laughs> That's DJs. crazy. Yeah, they're still number one and uh, because it's a different format. It's urban. or urban hip hop. Yeah. So their ratings and all that, their music that they're playing, uh, like they're still like a number one rating and stuff like that. Yeah. Crazy. Damn. Like two like two years ago, like uh, Jesse hit me up. Like he's like, hey, what's going? I'm, I'm opening a a, a bar in in Kingsville, like you want to DJ, like we'll still do live on the radio. I said, yeah, like what's called back, back to the basics. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. And then like he never called me. Damn. I guess he never opened that club in Kingsville. Like I was like, oh shit, like one two point nine, like it's yeah. coming back. And then that never happened. So I started with uh, with Wild one hundred five. I did that uh, for a year. Uh, like Tommy the Hacker, shout out to Tommy. All right. Like he took Tommy. me in. He's like, hey, what's called? Like, uh, like I heard that, that you are in radio back in the day and stuff like that. Like, you want to do it again? I said, hell yeah. All so right. I started doing the mixes with them. I did uh, the, the Friday night, uh, I think it was like a house party morning show and stuff like that. Like, All right. I was a special guest with that. And then I was doing the five o'clock. Uh, oh yeah, hell yeah, I remember yeah, that. Yeah, five o'clock bombucha mix or some shit like that for a year. So that was good. And then Bell hit me up. He's like, "Hey, what's called? We got, we got fame over here at Z ninety five. Like, I want to get you and send a mix." I said, "All right, what's called? I send a mix. Like, I had one of my mixes, send it, and Gino heard it. He's like, "Hey, shit, I want dynamite on the radio. Boom, what's called? We did the the prime time, uh, the prime time hour. It was on Friday nights and stuff like that. Yeah. It's, still, it's still going on. Already, what's called? We're kind of uh, working on the show, like trying to change it up a little bit and stuff like that. And well, yeah, hell yeah." I want to go back to uh, fucking 102.9 uh, real quick. Uh, you would cruise around in the uh, 102.9 uh, van, you say? Yeah, the the, the Escalade. The, oh, man. Yeah, it was like the Avalanche, yeah, the Avalanche. but the Cadillac one. Bruh, yeah. it, okay, I'm going to give my perspective. Uh -huh. when that, From the outside looking in, I always saw that as like, okay, if you see that motherfucker pulled over somewhere, they got something that they're giving away. Yep. Yep. What's the... Other side of that, is that true or is that like what are some of the, like the shit like that you've seen people like hey y'all got any tickets like or just run up on y'all like yeah, like, like every, <laughs> everywhere like uh, what's called that truck like we used to take it just would just like attract people like a motherfucker yeah, attract people like I'll be at the gas station putting gas and people hey you got some CDs or <laughs> some tickets I'm uh, with me no I'm just, I'm just putting gas right now like, <laughs> but we'll be here uh, be here later on today where you can get some some stuff but it was like almost like expected yeah expected yeah. like people yeah. are gonna come up once they see that 102.9 fucking big red, truck orange red truck <laughs> speaking about <laughs> that that truck uh, it was a spring break uh, was yeah like, I remember man. Yeah, yeah, like, like, we're out yeah. in the beach cruising and stuff like that well I did a remote. Remotes are like we go to location, yeah, location, and broadcast and live, broadcast live there. and stuff like that. I was at a remote, and I finished it up. So I was gonna gas up at the gas station. So I was, I was right there by, uh, I think it was King High School. Uh, what's that street? Staples, South Staples. Or yeah, I was on that street, and that av uh, the, the the Cadillac had, I think it was like twenty sixes. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was fucking driving on that bitch. <laughs> and then I just saw the fucking rim tire fly. Uh, damn. I'm all, fuck, that doesn't look good. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't feel nothing? <laughs> yeah, I, I felt the, 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 the steering wheel like bounce or something like that. And then I saw it. I'm all, fuck. That just fucking flew. <laughs> and then all <laughs> the truck just went bam, like that on the Damn. side. Damn. I'm all fuck. Damn. I had to get in trouble. But, but now nah, it, it was something wrong with the suspension or something like that. Like, just boom, flew the tire. And of course, people are going to stop. Hell it's yeah. It's the 102 Super 9 truck. And then <laughs> they get this. Need and help. the guy that stopped, he's like, hey, what's going You got some CDs? <laughs> <laughs> Giving them singles out here. Yeah, I got to box real quick. I'm gonna say, let me get the tire first. <laughs> God damn, man. So they didn't have a promo van. They used no. that Escalade. Because I remember that Escalade being yeah. everywhere, man. Yeah, it was man. Escalade and it was wrapped. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. So one hundred two point nine and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. And it's crazy because like the raps is shit like that. Like now that's what I do. Like my day job is shit like that. And all right. Being around that and all that, I'm a fuck man. <laughs> it all tied into each other. Hell yeah. <laughs> Does he do the Club Cielo thing? Was that the same dude? Yeah. Yeah. So you didn't, was that after Hypnotic? Was that like, like right after or yeah. was that like way down the line? No, no, like like Hypnotic was already dying down. So he's like, hey, like I need to get another club and try and, and like. Do it again. Do it again and stuff like that. So Cielo, like it was an old H-E-B. But at that time you were already doing the graphic. You had already got a, a job doing the graphics. No, 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 or you like, still- like, like I'm still there. Like I'm like, oh, okay, we got a new club and stuff like that. And that's when like. Like hurricanes started coming in more, okay, and stuff like that. Like I, I actually, hey, what's called? I got this a DJ, or whatever. Like, like I'm trying to build another team. All right, so this Be- is around 2010, 2000. Yeah, already. Like, like 2010 is like, all right, what's called? I got, I got one more push. Let me uh, uh, try and build uh, a little team and stuff. Yeah. Like that. So I brought hurricane and stuff like that, and then at the time, uh, Ed O'Connor's jumped in with us, and then Philip, like. Came to, I'm like, oh shit, like we're getting the team back together. But I don't know, some some happened where it, it didn't last, it didn't right. last long and stuff like that. But yeah, Cielo was another club that he owned, and he also owned the one downtown, the the vault. All right, like okay, a, okay, yeah, like like it was a, a drag show and stuff like that. But it it was also after hours, so all the clubs. Club One, Stingers, and yeah. all that afterwards, they're there. They were Damn. There. Like, was there, they didn't care. Like, it was a gay club and stuff like yeah. that. Like, it was a hangout. It was a so spot. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. So that was, like, the first, like, official, like, after-hour club and stuff like that before, like, the vibe and all that. Yeah, so, hell yeah. Like, we were, like, the first ones yeah, we did to, to do all that and shit. Like too. I said, a lot of DJs don't know about <laughs> this. You do three clubs in one night. And then you still don't go home until 4 o'clock in the morning because you got to do every voice track and push every club's concert the next morning. Yeah, I remember you were saying that one time. Like, me and D did something that we, we laid a platform for a lot of people here. And like I said, it's not stepping on toes, but we put in the blood, sweat, and tears to, to even do what we're doing right here. Oh, really? Hell like yeah. like I said, a lot of people didn't do nothing. Like I said, that's my big brother right there. Yeah, that's why I couldn't wait like to I get said, him on this yeah, shit. Like I said, that's he showed me a lot. Like I said, shit, because you've been, man, you've been hitting me up and the, the scheduling, it's always, yeah. and I we, said, shit, I need to do it. It's busy. I need to do it. I need to sit down with you. So, it. like I said, it's it's a blessing and it's a curse at the same time because you, you, you put the work in to see the effort and come back. When it ain't there, it, it make you want to give up and go another route. Hell, but yeah. We've been doing this now, how, going on 20 years now? Damn, um, man. Almost 15. Yeah, hell, I've probably been doing longer it. than 15, I've been doing shit. It. 15, 16? I've been she doing it since she was 10, shit, so shit, yeah, long, shit definitely longer than longer 20. Longer than for me, yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. So you say with the Club CL, it was just basically like another attempt just to try to do something. Yeah, 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 he was throwing try. like big shows and stuff. Yeah, and yeah, big shows. Like we had Zero there. Like we had Gorilla Zoe. Like Gorilla Zoe, Prime Gorilla Zoe. Yeah, like, Prime Gorilla Zoe. Like, <laughs> like, yeah, like like Hood uh, uh, was caught, just came out and Juice Box and all that. Damn. We had Waka Flocka. Like it's funny, like Waka Flacco, like I was <laughs> I was doing his show and I was in the tour bus with him. Damn. And, and there's a video on YouTube, like you could look it yeah. up and stuff like that. Like I actually Waka Flacco comes out the tour bus and I'm right behind him and stuff like that. Well that tour bus just got shot up like a couple of days before. <laughs> God yeah. damn. And we're, in there, holes we're in there, we're in there, there's bullet holes and shit like that. Oh shit. Yeah. God damn. <laughs> Female trying yeah. to leave with Waka Flocka's crew. We were trying to chase them down after the show. Yeah, like little Man, flip it was a ones there. Flip. Like a bunch of people were there. Like like Cielo was a good run. Yeah. Already. But it just didn't have that hypnotic run. Because no. I remember like they they like hearing like all the ads on the radio and shit, and it would just trip me out on like how Zero was coming to a club that was the uh, Hano a th- a, 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 with a Tejano <laughs> name. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, that yeah, would yeah. always, like, trip me Cielo, out. Because I never went to none of the shows at Cielo or nothing like that. But I remember they were pushing them hard as fuck on the fucking radio oh, shit. Yeah. Cielo, like, like, Cielo Club was was, was, good. was a big club. Like, it used, uh, it used to be an old H-E-B. Old yeah, H-E-B, hell yeah. But they, they did the stage, like, a big old stage, like, Hypnotic. They The dance floor, they try and match the Hypnotic dance floor. Of course, they ran out of space in there, but yeah, they had the the dance floor, 
And all the way in the back, they had a, a big ass mechanical bull and stuff. Oh like that. Like, shit! Oh shit! Bull. Yeah, like Damn. five bars. <laughs> yeah, like, like it was a good outside. club. Like, like it, it had so much potential, but yeah. I don't know what happened. Like oh, really? it, it closed down, and then now it's that that school. <laughs> Hell yeah! Yeah. What was you saying about uh, whenever Gorilla Zo came down, y'all had him all, all all in the hood or something? Oh like? yeah, we took him out to the hood. Like Gorilla Zo, shout out to Gorilla Zo at that man. Took him all the way. We came to Hypnotic. He seen what he wanted to do, so he's like, "Man, I'm hungry." So we take him to the north side. We say you had to pick him up from the airport. No, um, that time I forgot what I was doing. I think I had another event during the day, so I wasn't with. Yeah, uh, with but but yeah, like sometimes we pick up the artists from the airport and stuff like that. Like so, uh, we go pick him up. Yeah. And he rides with us, go to the Trade Center. He's pushing, like, they remember the little street teams. We used to go push yeah. little CDs. Yeah, hell yeah. So he walking through the Trade Center, getting his little shine on, whatever. So we take him to the north side. We go to my grandmother's house right there on Steelman. Eats a whole goddamn uh, a fried chicken, cabbage, everything. Goes and gets a taper fade from the barbershop <laughs> right there in the hood. Take him back to the Red Roof Inn. He don't like it, so we end up. He don't like it over there. Yeah, 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 like sometimes our, our uh, Jesse, man, he Jesse, used to man, get he some. Was, he like, 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 he didn't ever get no Omni Hotel. Oh, man. Downtown man. Hotel. Man, you gonna, you yeah, y'all got to talk about some of the yeah, hardest yeah, expressions yeah, out there. So, yeah. so, so he get mad. He's like, man, I ain't staying in this bull. You know what I mean? ATL. So it come out of him. At the time, he argued with his baby mama, too. So he's pissed off about where he's staying at. So we ride in the car. He's like, man, I told him, I said, man, I, I'll take you somewhere I'll go. So it's a little bit upgraded, but it ain't gonna be no damn downtown type. You know what I mean? <laughs> shit. So we took it right there to main? Weber. To Weber, that it used to, it's still there, but it was called the uh, Christie Estates. No, 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 right there, SPID and Weber. Sun Suites. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but back then it was good. <laughs> that was yeah, good. I'll tell you the, the exact hotel that we used to keep the artists at. Uh, it's right there. Uh, Staples and Saratoga, like we, we kept it in Saratoga because it's one shot, like boom, yeah, like they'll be there on time and stuff like that. Yeah. But it's uh, it used to be right there in that little, I think it's it, it's still there or not, but uh, it's a hotel right where there you can stay Staples. in for like a week and shit, and then like yeah. four like yeah, four yeah, suites yeah, and yeah, shit. Yeah, I know exactly yeah. what you're talking about. It's almost it's so state here's Saratoga, it's, it's yeah, a little it's bit down Staples, Staples yeah, yeah. Like and they have like oh. the kitchenettes yeah. and shit yeah. like that. Yeah, it was called. Like that was where Forgot all the, the name of the motherfuckers called. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> we had tr- you remember the the group was Trilli? called the one time uh, uh, Trilly and all that. But one time we had Cali Swag District. Oh man. And man. that one, my man. boss. All right, what's called? We're gonna put them in Omni Omni Hotel. Oh man. shit. So it was called that uh, that time. Like they they had me and this other uh, was called. He was the program director at the time. Like we actually picked <laughs> them up from the airport. <laughs> so we went to uh, uh, the airport here in uh, Corpus, picked them up, and they're all, man, what's called? We've been hearing about this Whataburger. Like, no oh, shit. Can yeah. you take us to they, Whataburger? They never heard of it. Yeah, they never I mean, heard, they about never it. heard they of heard it. They heard about it, but they probably never, they they never they, been. Yeah. yeah, they're all, yeah, the people at the airport uh, in California, they said, once you get to Texas, make sure you go to Whataburger. So I said, shit, there's a Whataburger down the street by my old job. He better take it to the yeah. Whataburger with old girls. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so what's called my friends, like, they're already texting me, hey, what's called, like, like where's Cali Sag District and all that? I'm all shit. Meet me at call. the Whataburger, old Brownsville. Oh, 10 minutes. man. <laughs> Oh shit, we get there and there's people already out there. I'm all Damn. What? What's how yeah. they find out that we're here? I'm oh, shit, shit, I don't know. Oh, shit. <laughs> I got somebody telling you. <laughs> Damn. And then what happens from there? Yeah, like it, it's a big ass fucking like all these girls are out there and stuff like that because of course the person I told put it on fucking yeah, MySpace or whatever. On MySpace, yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Time. MySpace, hey, Cali Swag District, Old Brownsville Road, Waterburger. So we're there, and they had to literally close the door, like, so nobody could come in and stuff like that. Like, Damn. It was crazy. So you didn't even take them to the Waterburger by the bay? <laughs> no. Like, like, all, yeah, we're hungry right Two now. Story. Like, we, uh, uh, so they didn't even say, like, the specific Waterburger. No, they like, just said they Waterburger. Said, we, we want Waterburger. Out. And I said, oh, shit, there's a one down the street from the airport. <laughs> <laughs> I should have took us to the one uh, downtown. God yeah, damn. It was right there by, by the Omni, but they're all, no, we're hungry. Like, like, is there one close by? I'm like, yeah, there's one close by. 
<laughs> God damn. Let's go to Old Brownsville Road. <laughs> okay, so what? maybe what are some of the expressions that y'all may have got bad expressions whenever you maybe pull somebody up to the hotel? They were like, man, what the fuck is this shit we yeah. stand here? Like, I, I mean, that, like, I was never a part of the drop-offs and stuff like that. It was just that one, all right. that one oh, time where right. Cali Swag's coming, and they're, like, blowing up everywhere and stuff like that. And they're all, yeah, it was called, we're going to put on an Omni. Omni Hotel, so yeah. so they're all yeah, Dynamite, go pick them up. They'll be will be here like in an hour. So we went, go picked them up and shit. Like we're hanging out with them and stuff like that. Like damn, like normal uh, normal people. Hell yeah, <laughs> god damn. So then you get into like the car wrapping and stuff like that. Like yeah. what are like some of the uh, big jobs that you've done like with rapping? Like what you say, man? The rapping like I started when car rapping is like. They weren't even, weren't even people rapping. weren't even rapping cars. No, no, no. They still uh, like painting them and shit. People were rapping cars with like actual sticker material and shit like that, Damn. like hard. Yeah. Now it's all rap technology, like the uh, the rap vinyls and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So, like so easy to work with and stuff like that. But yeah. one of the main cars was uh was called, I don't know if you know Brandon West. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shout out to B. B. Yeah. Shout yeah, out B. West. Uh, uh, B. West, boy. That boy was just like in Africa out. or some yeah. shit yeah. like that, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah like, like doing that, doing that, uh, that yeah, it was kind of talk to him. Oh, man. Yeah, I talked to him uh, like a couple of days ago, and he's like, yeah, like I've been traveling and stuff like that. Like a motherfucker. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to B, boy. Well, now, what's called, we went to school together. Like, we graduated same class, 2007. Oh, right. oh you're talking about his car, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So, Brandon, like, he he's oil-filled and stuff like that, and he moved to Houston. And he's like, man, I want to get my, I'm getting a BMW i8. I'm like, what the fuck is an <laughs> i8? Like, <laughs> so I looked it up. I'm like, oh, shit. Like, how much you pay for it? He's like, shit, I paid a lot. <laughs> a hundred something for the car. And he's like, I want to get it wrapped. Like, like, I see you're doing the wraps and all that in Corpus. Like, how much will you charge me and how fast you could get it done? <laughs> He's all because Houston, like they're saying, it's gonna be like a three, four month wait. What? Yeah, yeah. yeah. like it's popular over there. Like already. Yeah, Houston, you see a bunch of cars wrap, especially the the Chargers and Challengers, or, like and the then cats and stuff like that. In Houston, they're wrapping fucking Mercedes and Teslas and yeah. shit like that too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shit. Yeah. So so I gave him a price, like, and he's all yeah because Chrome, Chrome is just the roll of material. It's like. Almost four thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it's the hardest material to work with. And you got to use the whole roll. Yeah, you have to use the whole roll. Damn. And if you mess up on a part, because like the roll, they they sell the roll, and then they sell by the yard. A yard of fucking chrome's like almost three hundred dollars. Damn. So if you mess up on a part, is like <laughs> it's coming out of your pocket. So I rap Chrome cars before, so I kind of knew. It's like, so, all right. No extras. <laughs> no extras. <laughs> no mess ups. Yeah. And this car was like so curvy and futuristic and all that. I'm all, <laughs> all right, this is a challenge. Damn. <laughs> I gave him the price and he said, all right. So I said, cool, like bring it to Corpus. And he's like, I'm going to leave it for you for two weeks. Like uh, make sure you get it done, whatever. I'll be back. So yeah, I wrapped it. And that car, like, shit what's called my supplier where i get all my materials yeah like they actually used a picture that i took and it's promoting the chrome wraps like um, yeah on brandon's car like Damn. they have this picture and you go to the website you type in and this is a world supply of like they supply all over the united states and all over the world and that car is on there and so so that's one of the the top L- l- Hell, top yeah. of the raps that I did, and plus it's been on music videos because he kind of ventured into music videos. Yeah, like like, like he he linked up with a, a a girl up there in Houston, and she has a, her own production like company and stuff like that. So he rents out the car. Yeah, don't say using letting people rent it out. Yeah, rent it out. Like Mo Three was on in the car and stuff like that. He shot a video with it. Like, Damn. Mo Three, of course, like uh, what's called SPM's uh, son. Uh, what's his name? Like he did a video. JD with Coy. Yeah. 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 He yeah. did a video. Like a bunch of people like did videos with that car. So. Damn. Yeah. So, so that's the top of the rap yeah. right there. But sh- man, I. You done like Mac major companies and yeah, shit. Yeah, major like- companies and stuff like that. So shit. Anybody who wants to rap whatever, just hit me up. Hell <laughs> Cause, yeah. Because I do the full digital print and stuff like that. I design it myself, uh, myself, or do the 
the the color change wraps, chrome wraps, and stuff like that. Because not a lot of people do chrome here in Corpus. Because it's so expensive, probably. Yeah, it's so expensive, yeah. And then and it's crazy because he uh, he took that car to Houston, and he took it to the shop that told him, hey, it's going to be four months, three yeah. months. And he saw the car, and he's all, damn, like, somebody... Somebody in Corpus know how to do this? Like, Damn. like this work is, like, good. Yeah, you should be yeah. somewhere else. Yeah, you should be somewhere else. Like, uh, and uh, <laughs> this guy, his name is Jay the Specialist, a rap specialist, and his TikTok following is crazy, like, millions. Damn. And, like, Candy Crush and all that, like, pays him to do, like, 30-second videos <sighs> and, like, a raps and shit like that. And, like, he's, he's blowing up, and for him to say, man, like, this is good. Like yeah, shit, yeah. Was, I didn't know somebody in Corpus could do this this yeah, type of yeah. work. Yeah, yeah. Like that's that's crazy. <laughs> man, we got to bring you back for part two, man. But where you at today with all the DJ and stuff? Uh, the DJ, I'm uh, of course Z ninety five on Friday nights, and then I'm also uh, linked up with the Coalition DJs with DJ Fame and and Big Bell the Kid. Shout out to him. Yeah, like, so how did you get in? Well, that's Big one Bell of my questions, kid. too. Uh, how did you get in with the Coalition? Uh, the Coalition, actually, uh, Fame. Uh, uh, fame got me into it. Uh, me and Fame go all the way, way back, too. Like, like I was doing house parties, and he was always at the parties and stuff like that. Already. Uh, back when uh, Twin Oski and stuff like that. Oh, okay, okay, uh, okay. Twin okay. Oski, Flyboys, yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. Like, yeah, that's yeah. where I need Shout out fame. Jay Boogie. Yeah, Jay yeah, Boogie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 that's where I, I know Fame, and then he moved. He did the, the oil field and all that, and then he actually called me. He said, hey, what's called? I want to get into this DJing thing, like, like what's called? Like got any advice and stuff like that, and I said, yeah, just do it. Like, yeah. well, got, he already had a controller. He was already mixing and stuff like that. He was practicing, and he's like, yeah, like I, I want to get out of the the oil field and all that. Like I need to move back because he has uh, his little girl lives in yeah. here in Corpus, so he moved back and shit. He blew up. <laughs> like he blew up, and then uh, he became a coalition, and then uh, he's like, hey, dynamite. Like, this guy started. He's like, yeah, this guy want to get you in this, but you just gotta like. Like put in the footwork and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, these yeah. Events and stuff like that. Uh, he brought him down for for the uh, his birthday. Like I met them and stuff like that. Uh, Bell got into the coalition. The MC coalition Bell. Yeah, yeah coalition yeah, yeah. Bell. And then uh, yeah, what's called? He's uh yeah, come to me. Uh, uh, come with me to Houston. Like we did a bunch of new music uh, Mondays in Houston. Yeah, hell yeah. Like those experiences, like local artists here in Corpus, y'all got to like get on that. Like it's crazy. Like Coalition has like, they know people like uh, they could get you on and stuff like that. And they discover uh, acts and stuff like that. And they, like I always get messages, like uh, emails, like music from, from the main uh, coalition people, they're sending it out, like the email blasts and stuff like that. Yeah, hell yeah. Like, yeah, it costs a little bit, whatever, but it's worth it because you get all the DJs and the whole coalition, coalition get, will get the song. Yeah. And we got it downloaded. We got the, the clean edit, uh, radio edit, uh, the instrumental and stuff like that on it. And shit, we'll, we'll play it on the, uh, it's good and stuff like that. We'll spin it. Hell yeah. And stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, like like I tag along with Fame, and they saw that I was actually going to the events and stuff like that. And it's crazy, like all these artists. It's not just Houston; it's all over that United are, States that, that, that go yeah, to hell Houston, yeah, uh, hell yeah, to go perform. Like they perform two songs, and and like the coalition DJs will critique them. Hey, what's called? You need to do this a little bit, or yeah, I like that song. Like uh, like who made the beat and stuff like that. Do you own the beats and stuff like that? And your social medias and stuff like that. Hell and yeah. they put them on like, it's crazy. So I went to all these events and then, uh, I went to Oklahoma, uh, it was almost, almost like a year ago I went and then they made me coalition there Hell yeah. in a multi-million dollar studio. Like we were there and they like brought me on stage and, here you go. <laughs> Damn, that's yeah. what's up. Hell yeah. Yeah, so shout out to Coalition DJs. Shout out Coalition uh, DJs. Fame, fame. Then, uh, Hell Big yeah. Bell, man. Like, show Bell too. Hell yeah. yeah who so. were they saying? I forgot who Bell was saying that they broke recently or uh, that they were a part of man, them breaking. So, there's so many artists, and it's just like, man, these artists, like, they they go to the events and social, like, interact, get everybody's Instagrams, Facebooks, and stuff like that, and network. 
Like that's that's key right there. Like network and stuff like that because you never know. Like the person, yeah, hell yeah, yeah, hell yeah. The person that could put you on and stuff like that. That's why all the local artists here in Corpus is like that's key right there. Yeah, like you gotta push I know yourself. you hear it from Fame and Bill. Like they always say and stuff like that. Like I've seen their interviews here and. Yeah, 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 the same thing, and it, it's <laughs> it's true. Like you, yeah. you got network. It's, it's still like a that. thing. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's still a thing. thing. Hell yeah! And shout out to all the local <laughs> artists, man. Like I remember back in the doing. day, like some of the people are. No, saying what did anybody ever get any chance? The chances on them hypnotic stages yeah, that you yeah. remember? Yeah, it was called like we. We put a lot of people on and stuff like that. Like he didn't ever really catered and did like all local shows, but he would always like yeah, let like, local headline. I yeah, mean, yeah, let yeah, locals yeah. get on the yeah, uh, like the big shows. Yeah, like, there are at least one or two local artists opening. Oh, really? Like, like he always gave the chance and stuff like that. I was gonna say uh, J Styles was a few. Yeah, oh, already. Bunch, Probably uh, a bunch. Yeah, to be C&T honest. Was in it. Uh, Willie, had Murph, Cam. Willie at the time. Yeah, money. Yeah, Murph. Cam. Yeah, Murph. Uh, a uh, bunch of people like like I remember back in the day I'm all shit uh, paper chase we had uh, like shout out to damn. Lamar yeah Lamar was on a couple of shows hell yeah loud I remember loud being out there you know I remember mean? being shout out, out there for like a OG Memphis Bleak show artists, man. Huh? a Memphis them. Bleak show you remember that. Memphis Bleak. Memphis Bleak. Shot yeah. down. That it was like round here, like that was popping at that time or something like oh, that. Oh shit! And he came. And he came. Not, that bitch yeah. was dead as fuck though. It like, was dead as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, was you could roam show, around that show, motherfucker twi- freely with your arms wide out. Yeah. You know? Hey, one show we had was like, Twister. He came down and yeah, it was dead. No, Don't say any of your shows that flop. Yeah. Like, yeah, like, like there's some shows that. What's one that stuck out to you? Like damn, I'm still getting paid, bitch. Like Twister, we gonna fight him. <laughs> what hell? Twister on the fight. Twister's little security and they didn't. Yeah, it was kind of the Twister one. It was like a last minute. Like yeah. we didn't have we didn't have time to promote. Like like that's the only thing. That it was basically Twister was like in a town already yeah. close by. Yeah. Like, like it was a and close by. Hey, yeah. Was we want to add this this last minute show. Yeah. And of course, Corpus like it, yeah, we got to give him some time. Like, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's Twister. Come on. Now. Yeah, it was literally like a two week turnaround. Like, hey, what's called? We got Twister in two weeks. Like, Damn. You know, work your magic to yeah. promote. That was, so it was in like because back in the day, like we used to make the flyers and actually yeah. go. We was it out, put it on the windshield. Hell like, yeah. Street team with the yeah. regional, yeah. Street, yeah. regional street team. Hell Love yeah. people. Do, it's that social media now. Hand no, we used to put in that yeah. work. I used to call that shit hand to hand combat. Yeah. Yeah. Shit, I had to fight you for you to, to do show what you up, had bro. to do. Damn. I had to fight for you to show up. I had to make you believe in me on or, the spot you know, type or shit. Or we would have our flyers and then say, our homeboe got his people. Hey, man, take these, put them out. Go yeah, I remember. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. So yeah like we more. used to get like boxes and boxes, boxes of flyers. And and they, give give a nigga a stack of them. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Stack. Give it Just to go, everybody. Yeah. You give a stack to home to somebody. Yeah. I'll be at HB, whatever. I said shit. Let me get my flyers. <laughs> damn. The oh shit, yeah. damn, that's what's yeah. up. Yeah. So what was Twister's argument? Like he was mad that it wasn't nobody there or what did Jesse try not to pay him after he I know it's kind of like all the artists will get paid. Oh yeah, like everybody that. it was paid. just like the crowd and stuff the like that. The crowd in like, general he didn't so want to go up on the th- he, Oh, he didn't want to go on stage because of the crowd. <laughs> he didn't want to do shit. So they was outside tripping and our security and his little mighty bow security got into it and Twist was trying to talk his shit and yeah, it wasn't movie. having it. Yeah, it God wasn't having damn. it. God damn. So it was called one of the, the shows that I wanted to see, and it didn't happen. Uh, it was uh, UGK. Oh, shit. Yeah. yeah, like, it was, we had UGK. Yeah. In we the building? A, huh? In the building? Yeah, at Hypnotic. Like, yeah, we, we had that. UGK, yeah. but a week before is when Pimpsey died. Yeah. And oh. I was so excited to see that concert. Oh, y'all had the contract already ready yeah, to go. Yeah, concert was oh, right. UGK. Yeah, the concert. Didn't Pimp C come down right after he got out of jail, though? Well, was something it? like that, but yeah, I wasn't around at the Okay, time. all right. Yeah, this was way before me. Okay, all Yeah, right. but I was all excited because, shit, I was a big UGK Damn, fan. Damn, so like that. UGK was supposed to come to Corpus a week? A yeah, week. a week before. Uh, I mean, a week after. Okay. Pimp C died. Yeah. Damn. And, like, we, we called Bum B, and they're all, hey, like, we don't got no hard feelings. Like, if you want to cancel, like. Yeah, like, it's good. It. Like we understand, and he's like, "Nah, uh, he ended I'm up going and doing it." Like, like that, was I can't. A, that was a hell of a and show. That was his first show without without Pimpsey. his brother. Damn, here in Corpus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, yeah, yeah. that's what's up. And God like damn. I was, I was so looking forward to that. Like, yeah. like 
uh, Pimp, Pimp C and all that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because I was a big fan of Pimp C. And that was around the time that. he was running, talking all that yeah, shit and all yeah, that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and, yeah. And, and I was excited when uh, when Jesse told me, hey, what's called? We got EGK in, in, uh, in a month. I said, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you're a DJ, and I'm like, yo. Like I said, it's, it's a bunch of memories, boy. Like, I'll never forget the late, great, uh, uh, that thing, uh, Big Hulk. Big, Big Mo. No, 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 no. Uh, Damn, pass. Pokey. Yeah. Pokey. Me and Pokey would always go to the Denny's right there on Navigation. After every time they come down, yeah. we'd meet each other and get breakfast, roll up, and chop about. He would just talk to you like a regular person. Like he, you know what I mean? Hell so yeah. it was so many experiences you learned from these artists, and he talked to you like a regular person. they tell you, hey, well, do this, do this. Yeah. So it got to the point where even uh, UGK, uh, uh, like I said, Flip blessed me into the whole thing when he came down. So that's how I got Browns into the whole thing. All right. And him doing that, uh, 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 ESG would always go out to eat with us and chill with us and do, you know what I mean? So yeah. the late greats around the Texas legends, we've yeah, been around. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. A lot of the late great Texas legends came through that whole and they started Yellow Rose the, yeah, yeah, fucking yeah, whole started. circus and shit. And it's crazy because they own city, like they would tell us, they own city wouldn't even push their stuff. They come to Corpus, we showed them more love than they own block we yeah, showed yeah. them. Yeah. So, shit, being that your uncle, uh, own, I mean your cousin owned the Bomb Records, because I always thought back then, like, the bomb radio station and the bomb records is tied in some type of way. Like, did yeah. a lot of people have that like misconception? Yeah, like 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 yeah. what's kind of everybody thought. Or it was, was it like planned? That, was it planned that way? Like, was it? No, like like it was just like that was, was just the name of both. Yeah, just the name Bomb Records. Well, like. yeah. <laughs> and uh, the bomb records would do a lot of promotion for yeah. Like the bomb radio the and radio. the bomb radio would do a lot of promotion for, for the, the bomb, bomb records. records. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 like, like yeah, yeah. bomb records. Joe used to sell the tickets for the concerts there. Yeah, that's what, hell, yeah, yeah, hell, yeah. And we used to have like, hey, what's called like, we'll we'll take artists for a, a meet a green. sign of meet. Yeah, green, hell yeah. Like that. So that was like y'all's go to spot. Yeah, 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 hell spot. yeah, yeah hell records. yeah. <laughs> did you have any ties to the bomb records besides? Did you ever like work there? Did you ever spin up in there or anything, or you would just do the radio shit? With no, them? this guy just did the radio, and then like whenever we had the meet and greets and stuff like that, of course I was there, and uh, I always used to go over there for the movies. <laughs> <laughs> All right. yeah. Were, yeah. were you there for the uh, TBL thing that they had in the back in the alley that Michael White had put together? That uh, was at the Bomb Records at that time. Uh, yeah, like uh, in the back in the garage. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was yeah, called, yeah. I think uh, it was the hottest was fuck outside. Them. It was only one there. One? After that, oh, they then, moved then, to the yeah, barbershop. Was that was the first one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I want to yeah. say, because I think I remember seeing you in a picture and shit, yeah. but I didn't know you at that time at all. Yeah, and shout out to Michael White, man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they've been doing yeah. You got a Michael time. White story? Uh, no, nah, like I remember him, City Skates and stuff yeah. like that. Like, yeah, old school City and Skates. He, <laughs> man, he puts in work. Like, his fan base is crazy. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. Hell like, it's not just Corpus. Like, it's worldwide. Worldwide. Yeah, hell shout yeah. out to Mike, uh, Mike, man. Shout out to Mike, man. On that note, man, we're going to end it, man. We're going to have to bring DJ Dynamite back for a part two, definitely. You know what I'm saying? Because I know <laughs> he's got a whole story. He yeah, yeah. wants that man, intro. Shout out. Telling Hell you. yeah. <laughs> so shout out to DJ Hurricane sitting in on the interview. Shout out to Freak back there behind the scenes. And shout out to my dog, DJ Dynamite, man. We finally got this interview done, man. DJ Lil King, Riding High Podcast, man. We got this thing. Uh-huh.